we're live with the Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost on Network Text Test. What is up, Orville? Uh, thanks for joining the stream. The reason why we're doing this uh, kind of weird is because, uh, hi, uh, Bandai Namco, for whatever reason, restricted the streamability of the game uh, because I think it's due to the anime music presented in it, uh, allowing you know, all kinds of distribution and copyright issues. So because of that, uh, we're just going straight from the phone to the TV. I adjusted the lighting in the room, so hopefully it still looks good. Uh, I would have liked to have done this the proper way, but alas, uh, that's not how this goes. So this is the workaround for the moment. Um, hopefully when the full game launches, there will be an option to turn off anime music and we can stream it directly if not i will find some kind of solution because i do think this game is going to be super fun so for those who don't know this game is the uh home console port of extreme versus maxi boost on it is a classic um arcade title for japan um this is a closed it is called the closed network test um, there was an application process. I was uh, fortunate enough to get a code from it, uh, which I did not expect. Uh, it was the same thing with the Guilty Gear. I didn't expect to get it, but I got it, and it makes me very happy. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much the basics. Uh, in the full game, there's 185 playable mobile suits, so we're about to find out what all is available. And hope the game functions properly. Yeah, they decided to do a closed uh, beta probably just because the game's mostly finished. It's just they need to test the servers and probably didn't want to overload it. So, on that, if I'm also getting to comments, uh, I don't have any co-commentators right now, but I might have some later. So it looks like uh, player match and casual match are available. Um, free battle is available. Is free battle available? Yeah. So we got, let's see. So we got player match, casual match, free battle, uh, briefing room for battle record and mobile suit records. Uh, customized favorite mobile suit communication messages, Navi, title, emblem, and gauge design. Uh, and then here's all the options. Uh, this is going to be fun because I'm going to go straight into button settings. Because I want to find out what do we got. So looks like it does support legacy joysticks, which is fantastic. Um... That is a wonderful little feature. Um, it looks like controller, so we got range attack, melee attack, jump. Hey, Eugene, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining in. Let's see, touchpad. Oh, you can literally set the touchpad to do things? I'm going to set the touchpad to do X first. Command communication, sub slot, fire range. Okay. Sound settings. BGM volume. So far, I haven't heard any anime music, um, which says to me that that a lot of um, it says to me that a lot of stuff uh, in in the game is still not anime music, which confuses me. All right, online battle music: play songs at random, all available machines during online matches. Okay, um, just go from there. Network settings. Communication, battles, pre-battle, post-battle, country, same region. Confirm, okay. Uh, let's go to vibration settings. Let's turn the vibration on, just for fun. Today I'm playing with an actual controller for once. Um, favorite mobile suits. I guess this is where we'll find out who we got. Okay. Uh, is nobody locked out? Did they give us access to everything? Um... Now, my memory may be foggy, or the fact that there's 185 characters and I can't remember them all. I think they didn't lock us out of anybody. That's a first. There's nobody locked out. That is fantastic. Um, this also means that we are going to be playing this a long, long time. Uh, the one question, I guess, is are the new mobile suits that weren't in the arcade version here? So that would be... Let's see. 
Okay, so it doesn't have the two new ones, the Zaku Amazing and the... Oh, I can't remember the name of the thing. It's got a name. Alright, Orville, I'm going to pose a question to you. You said when the whole thing is over, uh, you want to go lightning figure hunting. Which figure are you looking for first? What is your top priority? That That's my question to you. Okay, so... Um, oh my god, the XS gun was in this. So this is a little overwhelming, not going to lie. Uh, there is a ton here. Dang. All the extremes. Yeah, I think... All right, well, I'm just going to go with the mobile suit I've been wanting to play the longest time, Shining Gundam. Uh, fighting Burst, obviously. That is that is the true answer here. Sorry, I'm going to bump the camera. Oh, MMPR Red's a great figure. That'd be a great one to look for. Um, let's load it. I'm going to load up these 10 slots, because I imagine you get to pick from this when you do the online. So, uh, let's do the... Let's see. Now, I played the gun easy a lot in previous games. Um, I want to try this Kapool and Gordon Kapool. Uh, I think they're a fighting type. Uh, let's see. Any build mechas in here? Yes. Uh, we've got Hot Scramble from Build Fighters Amazing Ready. We've got... Uh, build Strike. There also is Zaku Amazing coming, uh, just not in the beta. Uh, he wasn't in the arcade version. So, that, I think there's, that's only three. Uh, so yeah, that's essentially... Oh, there's the H2 Darkhound. I've really wanted to play him. Um, definitely more ranged. It's funny because it doesn't really tell you what's best suited of the three types. Um, I could, probably with him, actually... Thinking back, Dark Hound would probably be an Extend Burst. Because the thing is, there's like these three types of bursts, but they don't really give you kind of a guide. Uh, I know Gundam Versus 2017 kind of guided players a little bit to do the right choice, uh, but here it kind of throws you in. Uh, I'm just going based off of what I know from previous uh, Gundam material, because I'm a nerd. Uh, let's see. Um... I always wanted to play the Kimaris Trooper, so we're going to do that. That thing's definitely a fighting type. Most of the IBO stuff's going to be fighting types. All right, I'm going to throw the XS in here. I don't know which ones I'm just going to extend. Let's see. Oh, wow, the Gedlav. Let's go Gedlav. I'm going to say Gedlav's more of a fighting type. It's a giant, giant wheel. Let's see. Is that a tank thing from Igloo? Is this game totally nuts? This game's totally nuts, guys. Uh, let's throw the build strike in. That's gonna be shooting type. Uh, let's see. If you guys have any questions, just general Q&A stuff or AMA stuff, just let me know. Uh, let's see. Orville said I had not completed a wave from Lightning. If I find MMPR Red, it'd be, Wave 3 would be my first wave complete. Yeah, that MMPR Red was packed like three per case and still kind of hard to track down. Oh, Camphor. I like Camphor. Uh, yeah, so best of luck. I mean, it's sh hopefully uh, more stock will be making it out to stores when everything is back up and running again. I should pull something from the 00 set. What do we got? What do we got? Man, they have all the guys from the movie. Uh, let's see. Cherubim, Dynamis. I got a lot of range type. I need more fighting type. Let's go Quanta. Alright, let's see. What else we got? It's in the Zeta section. The Marasai and the Gabathli are together? Let's do that. That one sounds weird. Probably not fighting type. Let's do his extent. Okay. So I picked my 10... My top, top, top 10 mobile suits. Let's do the communication messages, because... Eh, those are pretty decent. We'll just go with that until further notice. Navi, okay. Uh, let's see. Player Navi. Oh, neat. There's characters. Hmm. Got Haro. 
Lala, Girin, Haman Karn, Cecily Fairchild, Katchina Jaluz, Relina Darlin, Tifa Aldeal. That's 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 how you get 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 your new type on. Uh, Deanna Sorel. I'm probably gonna go with her. I'm gonna check everybody else though. Uh, Maru Ramius, uh, Miriela Howe, uh, Flay Alster, Lacus Klein, Marion Hawk. Uh, also, these have like alternate costumes that can be unlocked. I imagine. There's like this intimacy scale, so I guess the more you use them, the more you can unlock another costume. Uh, Luna Maria Hawk. We've got Mir Campbell, uh, Sumer Sumeragi Lee Norega, uh, Felt Grace, Melania Vashti, Nina Trinity, Soma Perez, uh, Subaru Zendermans. That that's a good pick. I like Zenderman. Bright Noah, Audrey Byrne, Audrey Byrne Casual, uh, Emily Um. um Amonde, Yuren Lucille, uh, Romary Stone, uh, Ida Surgen, Kudelia Ida Bernstein, Atra Mixta, Fumitan Admos, Ina Sahalin. Uh, who are you? Oh, you're from Extreme Alpha. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like, I, I'm like, oh, I recognize everyone. And then there's, I guess, new character. Um, Scythia Aura Oct. Uh, Scythia Aura Sesto. Um, Sisti Aronono. I guess they're all related. I don't, I don't know the lore of Gundam Extreme. I'm sorry. We're gonna have Queen Deanna come with us. Battle Navi. All right. I imagine these are all the same characters. Yeah, these are all the same. So let's let's mix it up. Let's throw in Zinnerman. Give him a battle commander guy. Uh, let's see. Orville says I hope they'll do Robo Blaze and Robo Roxy from Beast Morphers. I'd like that too. Um, I think first of all we need a regular Roxy. That's step one. All right, title. What title options have we got? You left this thing open. So let's see. Okay, there's 276 titles and none of them are unlocked. Why is this, is this an option then? Okay. I'm just gonna leave this menu. Maybe we'll unlock them. Uh, Emblem. Extreme versus Maxi Boost on is probably the only one open. Yep, not gonna go through all those cause that's a lot of stuff. Gauge design, red, blue, purple, white, gold, silver, clear, woody, woody, oh, I guess it's wood, um, so these are all probably unlockables later, holy cow, that's a lot of title, or gauge things, um, I'm gonna get just a basic, let's go blue, no, oh. Sweet, so now Deanna just hangs out in the menus with me. Cool. I'm pretty sure they'll do Zoe Orville. I'm finishing the Beast Morphers team is probably a priority. Okay, uh, let's do a free battle. I gotta get warmed up with this game. Uh, mobile suit settings. Yeah, I know I've gone like 14 minutes without actually playing anything. My apologies. There's a lot of menus. Okay. What do we got? Let's see. I'm gonna go... Let's, see, let's, go, let's pull from my favorites. Oh, random favorite. I don't want that. Favorite mobile suits. Let's go Shining. Been wanting to do Shining Gundam this whole time. Alright. Uh, we'll do this as a... Hmm. Let's just do a random 1500. No, let's do a random 2500 across the board. This way it keeps it kind of fair and even. The only lightning figure I have out of the box is Beast Morphers Gold. Uh, Beast Morphers Gold's a great figure. I like him. Alright. Once I start playing, I'm probably not going to be able to read comments for a minute, so we'll check it after. Um, that's all good. Select stage. Probably could boost the audio in the game itself, so you don't have to listen to me the whole time. Moon Moon. We're just going to... We're just going to keep going on this, because I'm going to spend too much time. All random is... Oh, you can't change the... Maybe that's why the betas got blocked recording because everything's randomized all right well i never know my buttons so let's do this our first battle oh this is gonna be fun
Okay, this 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 is crazy fast. I am not adapting well, as we can see. Oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Well, I'm already been knocked out. I guess stop getting hit by these long range beams. And I lost. Okay. So I learned a lot there. Uh, first of all, I haven't played in Extreme Versus. Uh, I've played Versus. Well, I, I've played some Extreme Versus stuff in the past, but I've not played them extensively. Uh, so also, Maxi Boost on feels incredibly fast compared to other. Uh, versus games, so it's a little bit of an adjustment. I also just realized I forgot to tweet out that I actually was doing this stream, so I probably need to stop and do that for a moment. We'll do that after this match. Alright, let's see. Man, if I could get, stop getting shot for a second, that'd be nice. Alright. This looks like the ranged attacks, like a I want to be able to do something. And I'm done. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there a command list? Oh, there we go. That's actually really handy. Oh, so charge melee activates super mode. So it looks like Kellen Gun support. Uh, shining finger, touch pad. Oh, burst attack. Okay. So. Can I go... Okay, apparently not. I apparently can't go shining. Okay, let's go. Problem I'm having right now is I cannot... I keep dashing upwards. I want to dash on the ground. Not dash upwards. Oh, I lost again. Oh, hey, someone has joined the party. If they can hear me. I think it's just you. I think you're, like, the best at this. Welcome to the stream, Fighter Cows. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I wanted to see this game myself, so I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Let me look at this. Yeah. <laughs> I realized, like... I know people joined probably because I saw the notification. That was about it. Um, so yeah, no, I'm playing uh, free battle just to kind of get my my wits about me. You playing with a regular controller or with an arcade stick? I'm using a regular controller because uh, I'm streaming through my phone, which means I have to have the audio come out of the TV, which wow. then means if I use the arcade stick, then it's just going to reverberate and echo between oh, the TV right. and my microphone. And I also figured since it's a game I haven't had experience with. Plus, yeah, exactly. I see some people do it. I'm one of the ones who I play that game with a pad. Yeah, this one I think is one that can be kind of oh, here we go. swapped around. Just make sure I don't have any cover. There you go. All right. Okay. So yeah, no, I've been um, I've just been in free battle trying to get my hang of things. I went in with Shining Gundam and got wrecked pretty bad. And I realize it probably is because it's all, like, his is all distance. Like, basically, Shining Gundam has no good ranged attack, so it's a lot of, like, rush down, oh, yeah. grab people. <laughs> He's a melee. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you have the set to not take kill kid, even then, right? Whatever, that's a special move. Yeah, I think I'm trying to get, like, the hang of his... What was that? I was trying to, like, how do I watch this on my TV? I hear, 
I have the, the audio coming in. Oh, right, I have the TV app on YouTube as well. Oh, yeah. The PS4 is on, but I have, I'm watching the TV version. There we go. There we go. Now I can see it. I put the CPU to easy and it's still kicking my butt. Welcome to my world. Like when I was playing Persona 5 last night. I'm like, I put this on easy. Oh yeah, no, Persona 5 easy is still like very hard for every other game. Yeah. It's not it's not well proportioned. Yeah, Atlas. Atlas easy is still hard, I'm like. Dang it, Atlas. Just because you're known for being hard doesn't mean that you know to still be hard. Oh, jeez. I got... Wait, which one are you now? That's definitely not the guy you got. Uh, I'm currently playing the Rage 2 Dark Hand. There, oh, okay. There might be some lag on the... Rage 2 is, uh... What is the first one? What was that? I can't remember the, the guy who actually piloted it. Uh, the H2 was a Simo. Oh, there you go. A Simo Asumo. After he became a space I pirate. I remember Flip's, Flip's name. Flip, Flip came, uh... He's like, he became the guy who's like, ah, I don't like him. I don't like any of them. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, dude. Genocide of all. Yeah, Flip became genocide guy pretty quick. So, so far, I haven't won an offline match, so I'm definitely not going to be going online yet. Uh, I got to get my, I got to get my ropes down. There's a lot, man. So, wait, the beta's letting you use anybody. Everybody, yeah. Nobody's locked out, oh, Nobody's locked out for once, and I'm shocked, which also means I'm going right. to be here forever. <laughs> well, until, until 10 p.m. Eastern when the beta closes, probably. Also, also, I realized why the beta might have that uh, blocked sign. It's because the uh, the music, the music settings doesn't exist. It's just random music. So because oh, so it's random. So I think because there are oh, some I non, okay. yeah, because there's some non anime tracks for sure, but the beta doesn't give you uh, music settings. So I think that hopefully for the main game we'll get some non anime music yeah. settings available. Yeah, the Kapool. Uh, this is the regular. Um, it's it's the Sochi Heim Kapool as well as Corrin's Kapool, like a tag team. I'm remembering the, the Bill Diver's Momo Kapool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, let's see, I'm trying to get the hang of dashing. Oh, I see. If you If you tap the dash, you'll dash on the ground. But if you hold the dash, you'll dash in the air. Because uh, the Extreme Versus series is literally like movement is the number one thing. Everything else is secondary. It's how to move to not get caught. If you can, that would be great. Okay, I gotta get the hang of this game because if I'm losing on CPU, I I am in your shoes. I get I get I get wrecked, and I'm just like, oh god. Like I'm glad Guilty Gear gave us a day with the CPU uh, <laughs> to kind of get get into it because I am. I'm having a little bit of a struggle. I need to, let's see, I need to boost the battle settings. These matches keep going off pretty bad. I need to boost the, the points max so I can at least get some practice in. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go in back. I don't want to just keep backtracking to the same characters. So I'm going to use Kimarish Trooper. Keep forgetting to change the stage. I'll do that on the next one. What's interesting is the cost amounts are like 1500 2000 2500 and 3000 which all sounds super intense. Like they're not like lower numbers. 
Like the lowest number is fifteen hundred, so. Oh, well, yeah. So. Also have like GBO two cost restriction. <laughs> yeah, it's got costs because the thing is, is that essentially how the game works, and I guess I kind of should explain this um, for the sake of the stream. So basically, how the game works is that each team is given a, a set of points. For example, like I think I set it to like on this match I'm playing now, eight thousand per team, and so your cost essentially. When, when you're um, when you get defeated, if your cost is twenty five hundred, it subtracts twenty five hundred from your team's score, and then whenever you get to zero, is when is when one team loses over the other. Like essentially, the the tag team has has a skill skill base, or has a a shared point pool, and then when you're defeated, it pulls from that pool, and then whoever. I got nuked. Um, but yeah, so like essentially with that is why um, the cost part's important because you don't want to have like two people with 3,000 and then you're lost as soon as the, both of you get knocked out. It's like I always go with a thing of you want to have you want to have a lower cost with a higher cost to kind of balance things out. Gosh, I'm getting destroyed. And then the other thing too is that if your cost is higher than what the points are left on your team, you're gonna get um, you, you get lower health essentially. Oh, dang! I didn't know that. Yeah, that's like the big trap. Is like so if like your team only has two thousand points left and you're a twenty five hundred suit, you only get like proportionately you you lose a fifth of your health essentially. Sweet. Thank you. Like you, I have like a lot of followers on Twitter, but barely any engagement. <laughs> yeah. It's like 1,300 followers, but like 20 people engaged. Like, come on. I know, right? Yeah, I need to get. Okay. I'm going to try somebody different that's out of my tent I pulled out for online. I think I need to go basic. Let's go E Freak Custom. Ooh. Let's let's just try to make this super simple. I wonder how this looks in uh, this game compared to GBO two. Maybe better. Oh, yeah, I gotta say, probably a lot cooler. <laughs> yeah, I, I've noticed this for sure. Is that this game looks really really nice? Let's go to Brussels. Um, yeah, no, like, this game looks incredibly good, especially considering it's an arcade title, uh, that's been yeah. ported over. It, it did not lose anything in the port, that's for sure. Reminds me of, there was a Dragon Ball arcade game that looked really good. Oh, yeah, Super Dragon Ball? Senkai, Senkai Battle Royale. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Which this kind of reminds me of. Both I think Extreme Versus, or Versus, I should say, then Extreme Versus came first. Yeah, it definitely came first, yeah. It was already, what, PS2 games for it, right? Yeah, and PSP. Yeah, Zenkai Battle came out, what, PS3 was out, so yeah. Damn, I almost killed the Atlas, and then I got, like, beat up by the... T the other thing I've noticed, uh, at least in my experience with, with versus games, is that the CPU kind of sucks when it's your teammate, but they're like a god when they're you're fighting them. Alright. 
<laughs> oh yeah, this thing looks. It, it plays great too. Actually, uh, I'm kind of surprised how much I like it, because it he's incredibly speedy for a fighting type. Hey, I won. I think what I need to do is go basic and not try to get like some crazy mobile suits or something really popular, or something I really love. Yeah, for some reason they have the title menu open, but you can't select anything. Which seems weird. Um, but all the stages are here, all the characters except for Zaku Amazing and the... I forget what it is from g -Reco. They basically they added two characters um, to this game that weren't in the arcade version. And those two aren't here, but everyone else is, so... Yeah, I'm glad, like I said earlier, that they didn't lock anybody out, because, you know, betas and demos like to do that. Mm-hmm. I guess they really want to, like, get a proper feedback, so, like, no, just use anything. Yeah, and I think... You're a QA it, tester today, man. <laughs> yeah, essentially, like, like, right now, it's, it's essentially, like, here, test the network, I think is pretty much the whole idea of the beta, because... And I think, yeah, it's the only characters they're developing are the new ones. So, those are the ones they don't have, because those aren't ready yet. Yeah, I, Age 2 Dark Half is my favorite of the Age ones, but Age 2 Magnum from Build Divers is my favorite, like, Age in general. I love that thing. I still need to see that, that second build I was just like, at first I was like, nah, but then y'all told me it gets, it gets real, and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, and... Oh, no. It heavy, I'm like, what? <laughs> it actually does, yeah. Built Divers Rerise turned out to be, like, this is a huge surprise thing. Oh, is that, um, Norris's goof? From, yeah. uh... From 8th the Mess team? Yeah. thing that got defeated by Gal Gygar? Yeah, that's right. So it seems like the simpler the mobile suit, the better I am with it. And maybe it's just because of the lower cost. Oh yeah, you're doing real good now. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's see. Maybe the other suits have more complicated systems than... That's why I see Solbro always lose when he plays these. Which, he's, he's doing his own stream at, like, way later. Like, at, at 10 or 11 or something like that. Which, yeah. Wait, you said it, this last till what? Uh, 10 Eastern. Okay. Alright, let's go um, Barbatos and look at Stick around for, like, 3 or 4. Just because I got my own stream to do. Yeah, I appreciate you being here. It's nice to have somebody oh, to, yeah, to like, bounce uh, things off of. Exactly. I know from playing Shenmue by myself. <laughs> until, like, until Star Child joined, I was like, y'all, oh, finally. I was even thinking of inviting you, but I was like, I don't know if he's on. Oh, uh, random select somehow picked Goosey on Rebick to go with, like, Barbatos Lupus. This is weird. My foot. <laughs> All right. Also, yeah, yeah, no, definitely not random. I like the rebake, yeah. The full city has four arms, which is nuts. Oh yeah, I tried the demo of that. They all sold out. Animal Cross. 
So I'm like, you know what, I'll do, because apparently, um, LPH told me, he saw people even before the court, like, right before, like, everything was forced to be locked down. Mm -hmm. He saw people buying switches in stores, even, like, supporting them. Even oh, yeah, no, because I, um, like, I, like, when everything went to lockdown, I went to go get a switch light for my mom. Cause I got her Animal Crossing and I was gonna wait till another like color came out, but I was like, mm, I need to go get this now. And I went around to stores and literally I could not find a Switch in any store. It was nuts. But then I found out that GameStop was doing like at door delivery, so then I just ordered and picked up from them. Oh, you can do that? In some areas, like now I can't do it because oh. it's like because like oh. they're restricted. But some areas still have like a you can go pick up your order at the door. Like if they open up. Like in May or something, I'll probably do it for GameStop and shoot. Yeah. Like, this is as for the regular retail price. <gasps> yeah. That's. I just noticed um, in the last match, it actually showed the battle damage, like when you won, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Extreme AI, I see, yeah, it's boosting everywhere, like friggin' like, watch out, like, bruh! This is uneasy! <laughs> The, the only other setting under this is inactive. Wow. They're like, we're prepping you for the Japanese players. <laughs> I guess so. The ones who've been playing this in an arcade for five years. Exactly. It's also these extreme Gundams are friggin' ridiculous. Apparently need to play it, because, like, the Extreme Gundam system is, like, the new Gundams for the game. And I probably need to play as those, because they look nuts. I had a lot of people commenting in the chat, and now I'm getting nothing. Yeah, it says two now. People came in and were like, ah, oh, it's not Power Rangers. Power Rangers, right? But it's, come on now, it's robots. There's robots in Power Rangers. <laughs> this is a smart robot. Alright, I'm gonna play as one of these weird extreme suits. It's like, name a Gundam. It's probably in this. Noble yes. I'll try her out in the next match. Also, they have all the Wing Zero pilots. So. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, yeah, yeah, basically, you can pick any of the. Any of the those that piloted the Wing Zero. Yeah, it's Catra. Uh, see, the thing is, the dub was like Catra, and it's like Quatre. Oh jeez, oh jeez, the spin around and shoot you with things on the Wing Zero literally like sucks you in. Yeah, it's like a yeah a vortex thing. Oh yeah, actually, like. <laughs> like essentially, like. Gundam Gundam versus 2017 was like too light and that's why people didn't like it <laughs> because you compare it to like this it's like it had a lot of the same elements but it was so much slower it didn't have like frame traps or or, or cancels or back dashing <laughs> so it didn't have all the uh, the fighting game mechanics that people liked about the arcade version yeah. that was still a solid game it just wasn't as good as this Ah, 
by the way, that was a good gut to gut that we got to see the Yeah, that yeah, one I, I, got, I got garbage I tried out there. Let me try. <laughs> I just got like nothing. Yeah. Because <laughs> like I need, I got the try on now. If you you probably saw in the Skype chat because I was like I was I was torn between which which suit I should get because I have um what they call that. Oh snap! Star, you can do uh, you can, sorry. Uh, you can do custom rooms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can do custom rooms. Oh, that's good. You can do lobbies. Yeah, it's got lobbies. So maybe if Dark Honor Metal comes on, we can can lobby it up. But yeah, yeah, no. So you got the try on stuff. Yeah, except for the sword. I didn't have a. But I gave him the um. What's that gun that's made for Gunpla Warfare called again? Uh, the Artemis? Yeah, I gave him the Artemis sword. Oh, yeah, that one's good. But yeah, there was a lot of guns I could choose from. It was like, I thought it was like two. Then all of a sudden I saw there was like, you could pick the Providence, a strain, gold strain, red strain, guns of mech divider. I was like, wow. Hopefully this game is like that, except, uh, you know. You don't have to them separately, you just get to shoot. <laughs> You're right. Okay. That was a really quick online match connection. Wow. That that connected in like less than a minute. Alright, let's see how well it plays. I'm scared. I'm fighting a nightingale. Oh god. Actually, no, if I take out the Nightingale, I'll, I'll wipe out half their, their points. If you do lobbies, like, can you also tech me? Like, say, hey, me and Dark Dawn versus Metal and somebody. I think so. The problem is I don't know a fourth person that has code that would be available to do that. Oh, oh, oh lordy. <laughs> Nightingale is literally, oh lordy, he coming. <laughs> Ow, I, I, like, dashed right into the, the beam. Okay, it's an alternate to zombie. Okay. I was like, yeah, yeah. So this looks like a bigger to zombie. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we lost. Dang, you almost had a shadow gun, too. Almost. I, I was, yeah, I was trying to snipe him from the back. The nice part with this game versus Gundam versus had this whole like tag team or this assist system where you could pick an assist mobile suit, and then that just added like so many layers to getting into a match. Yeah, it's pretty good at that. And he can practice while it's connecting. And then this is also a Mamco. So I'm like, hmm. Did you feel any input lag? Nah, I didn't feel any latency at all. It was, it was like pretty much one to one. What the heck, Tekken? <laughs> right? And Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, it's good, but Dragon Ball Fighters and Tekken, even though they're the same area, I still get input lag and latency and wait forever for a match. Yeah. No, this actually was just in. I'm wondering if, like, Harada should just, and whoever does uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, like, they should just toss them over to the online for this game. 
Yeah. I almost wonder if it's just because there's less people playing, maybe. Oh, man. I think there's going to always be less people here than Dragon Ball Fighters and Tekken, so that might help. Okay, the Arch Gundam I'm fighting knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, I saw he was putting you in, like, sun loops and stuff. I'm like, welcome to GBO2, I guess, with the sun loops. Oh, got wrecked. Oh, that was that was that horrible. Dude, that dude was like poo poo fang. I'm like, bruh. That awkward moment when you encounter somebody that's played <laughs> played a lot of uh, extreme verses before. It's like, yeah. Man, did you even, probably, for all we know, he probably even went to Japan and trained in the arcade, <laughs> came back home. Or they're from Japan and they just stayed up late. <laughs> yeah. That too. You're like, oh, oh, you re-up, re-back, run back. Oh, no run back, okay. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel, like, uh, if you can compare it? Well, comparing it to Gundam Versus, which was kind of slow and laggy, this is, like, fast and smooth. You know, like an arcade game. Right? Yeah, like, it does feel like I'm in an arcade, aside from the fact that I'm sitting in a much more comfortable chair. Like, it, it's got that, that smooth arcade precision. Oh, and this time I'm teamed up with the Arch Gundam. <laughs> well, don't you throw this match. You better help me with the sub That's what I'm doing. Right. Sub man. Like, it definitely runs smoother than GBO2, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. This is more of my type. I was, I was about to say that earlier. This is more of my type of game than GBO. This is, this is why I play, like, fighting action games. This this feels, like, as kinetic as Dynasty Warriors Gundam did. If that makes any sense. Yeah, that's my point of reference to Dynasty Warriors Gundam. It feels like that kinetic, where you can just kind of do anything, and you can do it fast. Alright, hey, you blew it up. Hey, man, I've got your back. <laughs> He's like, when we're enemies, I will destroy you. When we're friends, we will win. <laughs> Friggin' one of the rings here, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go, win. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Arch Gun, sir. Actually, I'm gonna switch mobile suits now. Now that I got, I don't wanna get too. I don't. I don't there's 185 characters, and I'm just gonna keep using the dark hand if I'm not. If I'm not careful. <laughs> That would be me, though. Just... I wonder what you should do is um, ask people uh, if you're gonna be going all day. Like, if I come back, I'll be like, "Yo, play the O3, which O3, the GP O3." <laughs> you're like, "Oh yeah, you and your saga." I'm like, "Yeah, me and my saga." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anyone in the in the chat wants to suggest things, go for it. Oh, Avalanche XE is an option. Okay, we're doing that. I know the XE, but the Avalanche? Yeah, it's from uh, 00's MSV. Oh, okay. That's cool. It's like the Exia with a ton of armor. Oh, that's dope. Is there a kit on that? What was that? Is there a kit on that? Uh, I think actually yes, because they did a Build Divers, or yeah, Build Divers did a variant of it. 
I'm not actually seeing it. That looks way cooler than your regular actually to me. Just because the actually are kind of... I, the armor makes it seem more Gundam to me, because... Oh, well, I seem kind of too skinny to me, the regular actually. I don't know if that makes sense. Just like the barbecue kind of looks like yeah. before it got the armor. I'm like, what is this? What is this? It's, 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 does this mobile suit have anorexia? <laughs> <laughs> Like, nah, they just lost the armor and didn't want to remake it. Okay, it looks like a Victory Gundam Hex uh, against Tall Geese 2 and Sheridan. Hmm. That's a lot of ranged on that opposite team. I was okay, man. You do a good. I retract my Is the charity from Double O as well? Yeah. I... Is that the season two for Lock On, or is it the movie? I can't remember. It's one or the other. Sounds like that. I'm like, Terra Dim is close to Terra Bim, and Double O had a lot of, like... Religious themes? Yeah. So I was, uh, that's why I was thinking, that's probably from Double O. <laughs> if I don't kill this tall geese, I'm going to be very mad. Oh no. I'm very mad. Oh uh no. -huh. You had trans them and everything. What is what is even hitting me? I don't know. That's 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 me every day in GBO too. So. I blew up the tall geese at the same time I got blown up. Oh man, double KO. Double KO, except the other team had more points. Oh no. <laughs> so you still lost. So I still lost. Yeah. Dang, and then seeing his leg fly off when he blew up. Yeah, that's like the cool part with the versus stuff is just like yo. They got blowed up. I like it. I like when you lose, man. It's like not only the loss, but it's like they they both look so just devastated. Both oh yeah. And like oh no. Like in GBO two, it's just they just look away sad. Whether this, they're like <laughs> oh no. Like is that the difference you know, between free to play and paid game from Bamco? Yeah, I guess. So. Ooh, the Gundam X dividers in this. Hey, I mentioned the divider in Gunfire Warfare, so yeah. I'm glad he's in this too. Wheels is like, well, when I asked him, should I get the Trion or the Gundam X, he's like, well, Wheels like, I had to pick the divider, but I know you, Jerry. That's a double Zeta with Sentai most so of course you're going to pick the Trion. I'm like, yeah. Barber took Lucas, he's like, just shoot him, I guess, right? Yeah, it's just like, I'm going to keep shooting him from a distance. No, get away! Get away, you monster! <laughs> Almost got him, and then he locked out. Ugh. There we go, got him. I, this is so weird, because I'm used to Exia being like a close combat, and this Avalanche Exia is like the ranged version. Oh god, who hit you from behind? I didn't even... I have no idea. Like, randomly, just like, boom! You got hit from behind, I'm like, what? Man, I'll tell you what though, this just keeps my eyes entertained to like... I don't even know what half the things are, are happening, but like... The colors just... Just Oh boy, this is a close match. Literally, next kill gets the win. Oh! Oh! Oh, the Barbatos came to kill me and it got left itself vulnerable. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow! That was crazy. I just saw that, Ryan. That was excellent. That was nuts. <laughs> 
He was like, I'm coming. And your partner was like, you forgot about me, boo. <laughs> I'm still alive. I was just thinking that scene from Lethal Weapon 2. <laughs> <laughs> the Barbatos was the bad guy. Diplomatic immunity. Your partner was, was uh, Merc. Uh, yeah. Revoked. <laughs> Oh, dang, I loaded instantly into a match. Oh, wow. Crossbone X2 custom. There's so many crossbone stuff. So much crossbone stuff that I don't know about. <laughs> I've, I've read all the original crossbone manga and I think like a couple of the sequel ones, but people stop translating them. And I'm like, someone license this. <laughs> What the fandom wants. At least, at least do that. Like, people keep asking for animation. I'm like, at least license the manga. Like, like I, I'm like, Seven Seas, you're, you you finished the wing thing. So, come on, crossbow next. <laughs> Viz is busy with Thunderbolt. But, not Seven Seas, it's uh, Vertical. But. And they're the same people. Vertical did the Origin too, right? Yeah. They did a really nice release of Origin. Yeah, I know, that's great. I have, I, I just have volume one, but that one, they're like, that's awesome. I, um, I have all the volumes because I think it was like 10 of the volumes were out and Barnes and Noble had to buy to get one free on manga. Huh. So, so I went in and just cleaned house. <laughs> Cause I was like the perfect, I was like, oh. Oh, this is perfect time to get Origin. And then, like, two more volumes came out, and that was it. So I was like, I just bought the two at, like, normal price. But. Dang, I keep hoping one of that guy can keep seeing about the, the build, uh, the build strike. Dang. He definitely did not have what it took. Dang, build strike. This is cool. I have my, um,. Or I showed you before. The kit for um, the Plasti particles. Oh yeah, that one's that's, that's a cool kit. I I got it at Anime Boston. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't have to wait for shipping. I can just go home with the kit right now. Oh uh, yeah, those. It's wild when I can like the whole like go to Barnes and Noble and buy Gundam kits thing still hasn't set in for me, even though it's like. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> A reg it's like, it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like, been, it's been like five years since that started, but I'm still like, how is this still a thing? This is awesome. I know, right? Uh, my, my bar, it's still at Barnes and Noble's far from me. Yeah. I have to go take a, a bus to a whole other town. I have one that's close Granted, and one that's far. Bus, but I got, I got one that's close and one's far, but. The it's... only one here is in another town called Holyoke. Oh. Which. I don't like that town. I don't, I don't like the name of that town. Holyoke. Some people say Holyoke. Uh, the only thing going for that town is that they invented volleyball. Really? The Volleyball Hall of Fame is Holyoke. Wow. <laughs> Springfield and where I live, the Basketball Hall of Fame. So we have basketball and volleyball, but nobody visits because... If you think Springfield's bad, like, Holyoke is even worse. Oof. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I see that thing. <laughs> Black screen and synchronizing connection. An error occurred during the match. Oh! <laughs> that was, like, six straight matches, though, without any yeah, issue. Yeah, okay. that's not, I'm not complaining. That's not so bad. Yeah. If it's not like friggin' Tekken, where, where, like, I try to match up, and it, like, every time... An error has occurred, or the opponent did not communicate. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, we'll try again. Oh, you going with my homies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got, like... Oh, no. <laughs> it connects so fast, I didn't get to test all the moves. <laughs> oh, no. This is the GPO 3 with, with dual... Oh! Whatever that was. I know. <laughs> I don't know how to land it, though. Oh, you got the full package build strike. Against two Barbatoses. Ah! 
if we don't win this, I'm gonna be very sad. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be sad. I'm like, you what? I'm like, man. Like I told you, I'm like, I love Matt Cross. Guys, I'd be sick of being in the Macross, but TPOP being made by the Macross guy, I'm like, man. Bro, I want to know what I'm doing. Oh, man, he has cool dice, like I said, that's much. So much cooler than the TPO, DOT version, too. I ran out of ammo, but I still got him. Wow. That was crazy. Oh, no. All right. Please be the same super move from before. I screwed it up. I botched it. Get out of there. I'm just like really into this song. I'm actually, I'm just like, oh, okay. Ah. Oh, no. The Barbatos just knew how to get in close. Oh, man. <laughs> you look dead. <laughs> you. Oh, I just... Where'd I go one more round with the GBO, GPO3? I think I like playing as I'm going to give it two rounds. Alright, let's see how this move works. Oh, it's just a high leap. Okay. So he's all about, like, getting out of the way, huh? I think what you're supposed to do with him is, like, whip punish. Yeah. Do fighting game terms. Make him whip and then you punish. Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Where did he pull that from? It, it's the magic. Oh, God, space. <laughs> oh where did where did the Joby? Where did the <laughs> 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 uh, he plays just like he does in Gundam versus 2017. I'm so happy. <laughs> he just plays faster because I love that you just like oh yeah here's a weapons pack. Here's just the whole Dendrobrium. <laughs> All right. Oh good, I got a Barbatos on my side. I'm not looking at the, the player names to even know if it's the same people or not. I mean, you could... Oh, uh, okay, that guy's name is Jojo Must Die, so that's already... Like, you gotta take him out. Okay. Well... Oh, jeez. What even are you playing as, dude? Whatever it is, it's good. It kills me. Is this a seed thing? I need to watch seed just so I know things in games and stuff. That's a problem. It's like, hey man, all these suits you gotta know. But I gotta watch seed to know them? Yeah. Oh man, I don't want to. Because seed makes up for like 80% of all gun plot. Okay, Brave Commander is. Wait a minute, it's telling me it's double O. Really? Is it from double O? From the movie. Oh, yeah, probably one of the alien suits. It says it's the successor to the GNX Masurao and piloted by Graham Aker. Oh, that was Graham's movie suit, okay. Damn it. I've seen it. I just. I've seen it twice and I still don't remember it. I guess I don't remember everything from it. I do remember it. I just don't remember. I mean, hey, I watched. I actually watched the original Seed and I don't remember anything. Uh, definitely, I gave up at the third episode. 
I, I was watching C Japanese until episode eight, seven, and then I just stopped. I was like, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be watching this much melodrama, I can't read it. I can't read this much melodrama. The original scene was I just was bored, but Destiny I rage quit. I... <laughs> yeah. Especially because the you know the character designer like you see his other work. Mm. All his characters have the same um, crying face. Yeah. Even though they're not crying. He did another anime called Majestic Prince. You ever heard of that one? Uh, I think so. The mech anime? That one, he did the character. That one I actually liked. Because he, he evolved his art style slightly. Hmm. They no longer look like they're going to cry anymore. They look like they just finished crying. <laughs> so I was like, hey, step up. <laughs> it's just like, ah, they've gotten past the crying. All right, I'm going in with Age FX, which is probably incredibly dangerous at a 3,000 count. Oh, someone else is using Age FX on the opposite team. Oh, this will be great. As in great, I mean, oh, no. Oh, no. Gundam ZZ guy, oh. Oh. I don't know if I want to shoot him. This guy, guy using Age says he likes ZZ. Oh. I I I really I make a lot of apologies for Gundam shows. Zeta Double Zeta gets too much hate. Tall geese did not have tall geese potential. Yeah, that was that was really over quickly. I mean, what the heck? I saw you get shot once, and then you like instantly died. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. He shot you with. I... Come on, let me practice. I need to practice. Yeah, that's probably. Oh, <laughs> it's interesting. You can summon the H two Darkhound in the H one, uh, whatever the last version was, the H one Verbatim. Essentially, he can summon his his, his father and his grandfather. <laughs> I want to know what this music is that I don't recognize from any anime, and why we can't just natively stream this. Right? So far I haven't heard any songs from the anime. So I'm like, what the heck? Exactly. Like said, cause it's random, it might, it might play an anime song randomly. They're like worried, they're like, uh, music settings aren't done yet, uh, we want to be legally li li liable for this? I guess that's it. Considering I'm just filming off my phone, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what? Like the whole screen is in the view. Like, I don't know. How you... Cause that's something I was gonna do to like stream like Capcom or something K2 or something. Like I honestly thought this was gonna look awful, but it actually. Still lost. I was doing all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, no, the thing is that, like, because I feel like, 
I feel like just recording off the TV with the phone was going to go bad, but it's actually coming through pretty good. And, uh, like, I, I realize if I turn all, have no lights in the room, that'll help. Alright, we're going Rosen Zulu from Unicorn. Because I didn't even know he was in the game. Yeah, now Sananju and Kasachi are here too. Wait, the perfect Gundams in this game? I promise I looked at a roster sheet before this beta. I've been I've been following it, but I did not know about these things. You you, you have a wow. That's dope. It even ha the pilot is the kid from the manga. Yeah. I I literally can't believe what's happening right now. I didn't even know this was in a thing. You read the roster sheet live on my Tekken stream. Yeah. So, like, it's recorded, so, like, I know you read the roster sheet. So, I don't know how. I guess that was incomplete. It was off Bamco's website. Well, Bamco's incomplete, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, we're going to throw in some surprise characters. I wish I could help him win, but right now I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I had yeah, I had to hope I got an email. Like I just applied, and then they're like, "You've been accepted." I was like, "Thank you." Technically, this video is sponsored by Bandai Namco, not directly, but. Does this come out July or something? July 30th, which uh, Japanese pre-orders just went up, like, last week. No word on American pre-orders yet. Like, North American pre-orders, I should say. The Rosen Zulu Karakiri itself? Yes. Yes, it did. He is very dedicated to Full Frontal. Okay, this guy is all range. But yeah, you said July 30th, so I'm like, okay, that means it comes out uh, just after my birthday. Yeah. So there you go, that's a birthday thing. So. Oh, it has two Gyara, um, I forget the... Gyara Dogas. Okay. That's, yeah, Dorgas Burst. Okay, he is all range. Which I knew I already. Somebody but... told me I, I knew nothing about Gundam. Just because I said that my favorite grunt suit design is the Yara, Yara Doga. I mean, my favorite grunt suit is the gun Easy, so we all have our different preferences. Yeah, I was just like, I was like, this is just an opinion of what designs I like. That was it. It wasn't yeah. like which suit was strong. I just said, I like the Yara Doga suit design for a grunt suit because it's like, oh, dual, that's dual Gundam, huh? Yeah, that's the Assault Shroud. I keep, I keep getting Park Ford and Gunpla Warfare, and I'm like, what even is this? I forgot, Steve's the one that has all the names that are like, Whip Gun, Tool Gun, and Whip Gun, and Whip Gun. Everyone's a Gundam in Seed. Even like Grunt Stoots, like the other one, Ashtray, became Gundams. Super Saiyan bargain sale. Steve had a Gundam bargain sale. Right. They should have, like, the Gundam version of Vegeta complaining about it. Oh, wait, that's cool. Who keep That damn freedom. Hey, hey, that, hey, that one. Hey, that's what everybody says. Steve, dude. That damn freedom. <laughs> that damn freedom. He keeps killing me. Now, now, now you know how the looks the, the feel Alright, I got him. We're gonna lose this so bad, but at least I killed the freedom. <laughs> yeah, at least you got the moral victory. I have the high ground for Kira. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Stoops. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Delta Plus is in this too. Okay. Well, All right. That, that's a kid I've seen, and I actually want. Cause... I'm gonna go with the grunt suit. And since we were talking about it, I know exactly which one I'm going with. 
Gun easy! Is there options? Let's see. Yeah. We're going with gun easy. I think there's a way to switch pilots, but I don't know how to do that. Because I, I could, I, I should be able to pick the other strike team members for the gun easy. I know he's in the game, but like it. Hey, Patrick, you, you want to pilot a coop? Oh my god, the Gunny Z has a move where it literally just shields you with three other Gunny Zs. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, there's a stun, there's a stun EZ. Okay, how come this Grunt has a lot of versatility? I have no idea. Okay. Seems like these are the suits that are gonna be slept on, that they can actually do a whole bunch. Is that, is that a victory on this drive? Yes. Yes it is. Well look at that! If I Yeah, that was a lot of practice, and I'm going to I'm gonna clean house. <laughs> that's the thing, is I, I feel like this has got Yamcha syndrome, where it's like, oh, that's the weak character, but then it's like, actually they're super strong. Yeah, 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 just like in, uh, yeah, Fighters, yeah. Oh, it's the weak, oh, wait, what? <laughs> Everyone, welcome to Grunt Suit Hour on Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost On. I'm going to wreck this bile with a gun easy. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. Exactly. Okay, well, the gold frame of Matsumina probably should get taken out first because it's, like, trying to get me. The thing is, too, is because it's, like, 1,500 cost. If I die, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I, I, could, I can have, like, I basically have, like, two free deaths before it actually impacts the team's uh, winning potential. Oh, my God, I killed the Amatsu. <laughs> Okay, I got shot, but I think I... Okay, I almost took out the bile. Oh, once they take out... Once this bile's dead, they're screwed. So, here, here's my new strategy. Offline plays the crazy high-powered suits when you can change, like, the... You can change... Oh, that bile's got, like, no health. Oh, oh, you're done for now, buddy. I just killed a Bile and an Amatsu Gold Frame with a Gun Easy. No one better be talking crap about Grunt Suits anymore. We're gonna go another round with the Gun Easy. I, uh, I think that playing the high-powered mobile suits is fun offline, when you can, like, scale up the point. But online, I'm probably gonna be the grunt suit guy. Because they're all, I think everyone's picking, like, oh, my favorite, the, the Gundam Freedom. And I'm like, yeah, but what about the gun easy? But what if I told you? It's a Zulu or Uh, I don't think so because I think they're part of the Ro Rose and Zulu's move sets. I'm gonna say. Oh, now I'm teamed up with the Gold Frame. Was that a different thing? Oh, that's the Strike Noir. So, anyways, I don't know Seed. Uh, <laughs> and I watched it, but then again, I don't know. It's from death, I don't know. This Bile's trying to avoid me. I think he went. He went at me. I think it's the same Bile. I think it's the same bile. Oh. oh, I forgot about the goof custom. That's some grunt suit energy with some custom. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. 
That's a pretty great move, yeah. I have always the best in my DVD, but my other two shows are I have on DVD. Oh, the vial's not letting me do anything. He's like, I'm, nope, not happening again. Oh, no. Where's your buddy? I just see him and him just wrecking him. Okay, now, now I'm in trouble. I'm in major trouble. <laughs> this team is in trouble. You there? Oh, okay. No, I, I got like a, a thing on my uh, PlayStation. Hmm. Push the PlayStation. Oh my god, I'm just stuck in the water. Just sunk. <laughs> oh, that's why. It was thinking I was trying to. It was thinking I was trying to operate with my voice. I'm like, I'm not. Mm. Open YouTube. Alright, what's the next uh, grunt suit we're going to use? Silver Sumo? Let's go Silver Sumo. Now, do you play like you do in past games? Okay, yep. Literally the same. Alright. Now he's playing turn A stuff, and I'm just thinking, like, like, using the Old stage. I'll probably get you banned, and I'll... It shall be forever the inner joke. <laughs> Wait, how much can this charge up? Twice? Oh! Oh, that's cool. He can cancel into, like, other shots. Yeah. Also, there's a lot more, or a lot less lag when streaming off of my phone than streaming, uh, through PlayStation. <laughs> Oh, jeez, I have a new Gundam with me. I hope this guy knows how to play, because otherwise he's going to lose the whole thing for us. Oh my god, this XE and his dodging is gonna just drive me nuts. Come on, freaking die already. <laughs> The new type? Oh no! And we're—I didn't die once, but that new Gundam died twice. Show. Sure. Okay, now I understand. He has three thousand, so he was most of the health. Yeah. That X kid didn't want to die at all. Okay. Yeah, I kept trying to shoot it. I kept dodging it. Yeah, that's the thing is that, like, the thing I'm trying to get used to is, like, it's just the tag team stuff's hard when you don't have communication, but at the same time, it's, like, over-communicating also could be a downfall. It's just both players need to be playing at their best to succeed. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like the sumo's like standard beam blasts actually can miss even if they're in range if you're moving too much. Oh. They're not like locked on because they're very fast. So I think that's what's causing the problem. But looks like I think I want to say let's try this. Yeah, the charge shot actually does do a homing attack. Oh, it's time for a match. Oh, I'm back with a new Gundam. I keep saying that odd, and I keep thinking of, of King of Fighters. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jojo must die on your time side now. Yeah. Was he, the, was he the new Gundam before? I don't know. But, and I was like, what? Well, he's the guy I said we had to see about because he's dissing Jojo. Okay, then, yeah, he's doing better here. <laughs> the trick is to like when your opponent goes to yellow status just to get the hell away because they'll recover before you can attack them you can't camp out at an enemy essentially like when they go to yellow status, it's just like get away because they're not they're gonna recover before you can shoot them. Oh, damn it. Alright. Oh man, what happened there? I don't know. Teleported behind you and That Amatsu's gonna murder me. I would like to know where that age just came from. I guess I guess it's the Zaku Warriors assist, maybe. Because suddenly there was an ages out here. Yeah, I was that yeah, was right into the playlist. Actually, I'm going to switch suits. You were almost helpful. Almost. <laughs> it's that, I think it's that point thing. It's like, oh, you want to go for the crazy cool mobile suit, but then it's like, yeah, but the cost is too high. Yeah, it kind of is because it's like some some characters have those just like straight up one of their specials is assist. All right, let's see. We're gonna play as the giant wheel, known as the. Uh. Yeah. Thing from victory. Oh, I like this thing. I like it a lot. Okay, that was a cool throw. That was a I don't think anyone's expecting to see this thing because people don't watch Victory. <laughs> the Ged Lab is very awkward. All right, let's see. So there's a Goof Custom and a Shadow Gundam. I should go after the Goof Custom. It's like, how do we how do we show that technology's progressed since the one we wore so much in Victory time? Yeah, what if we just put a mobile a suit inside wheel? a giant wheel? <laughs> how about a wheel? Oh my god, it just throws people into buildings. Okay, cool. Uh. Oh, I got a leg. Oh, 
Wow, this thing's a really easy target. It has, like, no dodge potential. This is the first lag in a match. I think so. Well, at least I wasn't the reason why we lost. That goof custom's fat. I probably should play a goof custom, honestly. Get that okay, time. Gina, crazy, crazy. Let's go goof custom. Give it. <laughs> that crazy Katagina. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like, hey, he's not wrong. Where is the 8th MS team stuff? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I figured it'd be nice to start us. <laughs> it's like OVAs. Oh, snap, what is it, Spider Man? Yes, he literally is just like Spider Man. It's. Does ground stuff, I guess? Because I see it on the on the on the ammo count, but I don't know how to activate it. Maxi boost on wow, there's two goof customs. Oh good, they put us on different teams. <laughs> I was very concerned. Uh, it's a good custom fight. He just came for me and I came for him. <laughs> yes. Okay, I did not win Highlander. That being said, that wing zero is getting wrecked by the dual assault shroud. <laughs> Aha! Revenge has been had. Oh yeah, that's when everyone activates their EX skill. Oh hey, that's a change of pace. I gotta win. All right. I am impressed at how well this game is running. I'm legit very impressed by this. It is grunt suit hour. There's a kapool. Well, there's a kapool and there's a <laughs> there's a gold sumo. <laughs> people are picking this up. 
Gundams for fun, grunt suits for competition. <laughs> I think he does. It's part of his, like, super. Okay, this is the first time we've had slowdown at all. Like, actual slowdown. That took, like, what? Ten? Ten or twelve. <laughs> Um, does he voice for one of the main characters in Super Robot Wars games? Oh, yeah? And, um, as a shout-out to the fact that he voices Aerie, um, he will, sometimes, if you put him in the right suit, uh, in Super Robot Wars, he'll go, yo, you need- ah! That's amazing. You know, like, well, you can- So it's like how they can- W.A.3, um, Cole, Rocky, Owen, take care of People still don't get why that's his voice actor joke. I'm like, y'all really don't know why Cole hates Karen? That's like a thing. People don't know his voice actor joke. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, in Japanese, Cole's voice actor is Ryo Horikawa. A.K.A. Vegeta. Vegeta hates Kakarot. Oh no. Univas! That'd be funny. If I was in a Dragon Ball convention, anybody would ask him, and the voice of Vegeta was there, the Japanese one, and I'd ask him, like, can you do a got it done for me? I'd be like, can you yell got it done for me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no. You, you were doing well. We're doing great, and then the Kapool died. I died at the same time as the Kapool. <laughs> we both got murked at the same moment. Like I'm sure this game obviously has like systems and all that, but like since I don't understand it, it all just seems like luck to me. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't understand it, it's magic to me. How is the Alex a 1500 cost? That is weird. What the heck? It's not a grunt. We're gonna go with it anyways. I'm gonna see how this goes. Because I'm curious why it's a 1500. I remember asking about the Alex and uh... It's got the Choban armor on it. Yeah. What, Almost... what would happen if uh... Oh hey! It's, it's that one, yeah. Right. If, 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 oh, if, if I Amaro was able to get the Alex, it would have been a wash, right? Like, he'd have just stomped through the arm, right? Yeah, essentially. <laughs> if it didn't get destroyed by freaking Hamburger Man. It would have... yeah. Oh my god, what did they do? <laughs> 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 no, the random select, oh my god. Oh, oh this is going to go horrible for them. It should have done, it should have split, oh, the armor breaks after a certain point, okay. It can take damage, but it'll, it'll break. Oh, hey, it's metal. Welcome. This game has custom lobbies for its beta. What up? Hey. The game has custom lobbies. For a beta. It's so refreshing. I know, right? I'm getting on the game right now, so. Cool. I'm currently trying not to lose to a high new and a destiny, but. I, I see that. <laughs> Hi, Metal. I'll get on. I'll get on. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get a cat out of my way here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. How did we lose? 
We were two 1500 suits against two 3000s. How could this be? Yeah, one fifteen hundred or one three thousand would have balanced it. Yeah. Sorry about the crazy people outside. It's this is Springfield, like I said. It's all right. This is what we call loud game. So, all right, let's get let's get something. Let's see. Where's that it's perfect like, Gundam? There's a quarantine? Oh, state of Massachusetts it's a care. normal mobile suit Gundam. That's why state of Massachusetts is like one of the worst states for this virus right now. Because freaking, as you can hear, nobody gives a crap about any quarantine. Yeah, no one, no one, <laughs> no one's following the rules. Yeah. See, this is why New Mexico has police choppers. <laughs> Over here, I just saw a guy riding a bike. Normally, there's people just chilling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My grandpa has it now. I'm like, cooking off. Oh, hey. Pablo Kilcher, okay. Perfect cooker. This, this thing's amazing. I love it. I didn't even know it was there. It's just because it's just a mobile suit Gundam. I didn't pay attention. You know, I, would I... Love, I would love, to, like, a version of Bill Divers and Bill Fighters with the Pablo Kilcher kid reader. Like, I started this for all y'all. <laughs> He's like, I was the first build fighter. I can't believe the hell buffer from Igloo is here. It is. Oh, it was in GBL, so it might as well be here too. Yeah. And synchronizing connection. It's not a good sign. I've only had the, I've only had like two matches disconnect and like w one with slowdown, but everything else has been running like freakishly smooth. Oh, that's cool. Metal stock well, as soon as I get into the lobby, it throws me into a game. Yeah. It's kind of nuts. I'll say this much, it's kind of a nice change, as opposed to Berthage, which was a ghost town most of the time. Oh, yeah. I was like, ah, oh, we've waited an hour, and now we finally got a match. <laughs> That's why I stopped trying to play that game online. You just stuck to just fooling around offline with it. Yeah. It's pretty much all you could do at that point. This is hopefully going to be a different story. Well, I think this game's a lot more interesting to play, so... Well, it's more interesting. It has the bigger, I think, audience. <sighs> Damn, age one. Ha! I thought I had to move the gun of Billy just oh. Yes. This is like one of my new favorite things now. Yeah, I've been forced to stream this via potato cam. Uh, what was that? Should I hear metal through the party? Not through the uh, party. You don't hear metal through the party? <laughs> No, I don't know why. <laughs> You're hearing it through the stream? Or my TV's yeah. like reverber? Wow. Yeah. It's huh. I'll try leaving and coming back in. Yeah, like reset your connection. <laughs> he's not hearing you through the party chat. He's hearing you through my TV. Oh, that's weird. It is. This game does not want me to play as the perfect Gundam. It disconnected again. The second I get this really okay, funny hello. suit. Hi. Hello? Test. Uh, maybe it's my test. Maybe I should even come back. Oh, push the PlayStation. Hello. Hello. I'm testing this thing out. One second. Oh, that's why. Uh, on my end, he's muted. Unmute chat. Yeah, that's weird because I don't hear Jerry. I, I have, hello? Hello? Now I hear him. Now, yeah. Why was he muted? I don't know. I don't remember. Because you hate I, the sound of my voice? 
the thing is, it's like, I have to physically, I, <laughs> the, I was not touching any button on the PS4, let alone to directly mute you. Oh, God, I love that little, uh, little clip. Mm -hmm. So, so if you're, uh, fun fact, if you're piloting as Setsuna and you go up against the Grandpa Gundam, uh, Setsuna will think it's the O Gundam and ask why Lassie's on the battlefield. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, they have the same voice, don't they, right? Merle and, uh... Well, plus the O Gundam is basically their version of the original Gundam. So. Oh, okay. Because it pretty much looks the same, just with, like, a GA drive and shit on it, so... Oh, I'm gonna get paired up with an. Oh, 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 oh! I have to fight an excess. I was just trying to say oh my that. God, the excess is pilot's just a silhouette. <laughs> because it's an AI, technically. So. I love it. It's just like a, a blacked out silhouette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's technically uh, the first uh, AI piloted mobile suit, if I remember correctly. <laughs> It also has a ton of licensing restrictions. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Sentinel. I still need to pick up that bastard grade if I can. Oh, yeah. And, well, that new one, obviously, not the older one. Yeah, definitely the new one. Or not the one that you kind of... The one that could be the S or the... Uh, well, that could be the superior or the extraordinary superior. Still need to build it on a fan. Oh uh, no! Unfortunately, it's not as insane as the deep plan one they put out. That's like ungodly, unreally huge. Oh yeah, that it's thing. So good. Dang. Was this a thump or was this a thump? <laughs> I don't know how, but yeah, this thing's like my favorite suit now. I, I thought it was gonna be the Gun Easy because I love how people underestimate Gun Easy. Because they're like, oh, it's a grunt suit. Ah, oh, it's victory. Or, ah, oh, I don't know what this is. People really do. Like the lower top seats, people kind of really do underestimate them a lot of the time. Yeah, I'll get on at four. Ah, oh, I lost. I won. This is me. This is me. Oh, good for you. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna try doing the custom lobby thing and see if we can get it to be like a tag team? Alright. He drop kicked him in half, dude. That was <laughs> uh, love the perfect Gundam's googly anime eyes. Yes. It's amazing. <laughs> well, I know it's from Palomo Koshiro, that's why, but Alright, let's yeah, see. Great room. Like, right right, right shout out. We, we, we just you just saw him right? You're like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> Like, wait, is well, it is from Build Fighters before Build Fighters, so. Because Shout Out read the whole roster list on Bandai's website, and then. And then uh, that one was still a surprise. Like, wait, what? Yeah, I had no idea it was there. Alright, let's see. Let's invite Metal. Oh, will you now? I will. Okay, well, I'm in the middle of the match, so you'll have to wait. I will wait. I need a break anyways, because I'm like... Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm teaming with uh, Verzago right now. <laughs> I'm going to get some more water, you guys just chat. Chat, chat, chat. About? Just chat about how great the perfect oh, gundam is. I'm with my boy, the Quanta, right now. But yeah, like... Uh, I guess i got to turn on the Mac at 4. Oh, yeah. I know it does, yeah. But the good news is, Metal, I tested it. It's my version of stream. It, 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 it's good. Ah, nice. Unlike someone we know who doesn't test it. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I actually make the effort to test it, and yeah, it works fine. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, that's one thing when everybody uses high cost mobile suits, is the match is going to end pretty quick. Yeah, found out was telling me what it's like. If you're three thousand cost, that's most of the health bar. When they die. Oh yeah, because you get like six thousand. So if you die, that's like half the thing right there. And if wow. both of you and your you know teammate choose three thousand, two deaths. Yeah. That's it, huh? Yeah, basically. It's like one of those tactical things, you know. Do you go with a lower cost suit that's generally weaker? 
I did what? Okay, I can't enter the room because I do not meet the class. Win rate restriction and country region restriction is set for this room. Fuck. So when Sando gets back, I'll have to fix that. Yeah. I guess he has it for for only U.S. for some reason. It's supposed to be. I keep forgetting Canada is a whole other such country. Well, it's technically part of the North American region, I believe. So. Yeah. So when he gets back, we'll have to see if we can fix that. How are you doing? Oh, uh, not too bad well, today. Doing okay today. I just wish I had my, you know, money. But, but, I wish I had money. <laughs> the good news is, I got enough, just enough money to, that the bills are paid, except for, except for the internet bill, but that one I was going to pay with the rebate check anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. every other bill is paid, I'm like, yes! And I have $100 left over, too. Nice. Oh yeah, friend, uh, it says I can't get in because of the country or the rate restriction. That, that is weird. Country restriction, really? <laughs> it says either the win rate or the country restriction means I can't enter. Huh. They might want to, uh, I want to look into that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look at them. So I know you can set it to certain restrictions. Yeah. Room limit setting, yeah. Let's see. Country, same region as host. Now, how do I change that? Well, I am in the same region as you, though. Yeah. Well, if you talk about continent, but not country. He's, he's in Southwest. Let me set it to worldwide. Yeah, that might help. Okay, I'll uh, give it a shot here again. I'll send a new invite. This is a new lobby. Okay, yeah, you'll have to. Okay, I got it. Let's try join. Entering room. There you go. Here I am. All right. Now can we get another match going? Well, thank you, Mr. Ronius. I needed that. Because it should be open to people coming in. I don't know. Okay, now we've got three players. Blue. Okay, and then a player left. <laughs> yeah, they do that. They... Welcome to, to Tekken lobbies, if you already know. Yeah. They'll they come in and they'll leave, guy. they'll leave immediately like, oh, what? It's not my turn to play it? It's just a Namco Bandai thing. Let's give it like five minutes and see if two players show up. If yeah. not, we'll just we'll go back I'll to the go. random pool. I'll just go. Pokemon Go, go. Just because it's night outside, like, oh, hey, there's not a pandemic going on. I'm going to ride my bike and yell at people. And... Oh, lordy. It's too hot outside for anyone to want to go out here. Oh, yeah, no, nah, man. If I were to go, I'm pretty sure if I step outside, I'd die. I'm, I'm, like, dying from allergies to the point where I'm not sleeping. Oh, no. Mm. Well, I'm sleeping, but I'm not like I wake up and I'm more tired than I was when I went to bed. That's happened to me a lot. 
Like, at least I'll practice for a moment while we're... This is how we are, this this is how you get to the training mode. You start a lobby and then just ready up for a match so you get to the training access and then just leave eventually, I guess. Yeah. Well there is like a free battle mode you can do too though. Yeah, that one's yeah. that one's pretty nice except the AI is like a nightmare. Well I guess it depends what level you set it at basically. I set it at easy. But it was like an Atlas I, easy. I saw I Yeah. <laughs> I was there to, I can confirm. I literally won more yeah, matches well, against the real people. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the live chat, Nixter891. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And of oh. course, there's none of the, uh, you know, licensed anime music either. It's all OST stuff. So. so I'm wondering why the heck this is blocked from natively streaming. That was that was the one excuse was was anime music, but here we are. Yeah, that's right. You told me you haven't heard a single anime song the whole. Well, no, because I, I looked I looked at the track list when I uh, first got on in pre battle, and yeah, it's all like OST stuff. Because there's only 18 songs in the beta here, and they're all the OST stuff. So you know, you know what that means. Mm -hmm. That means they just didn't want to stream the game. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it'll probably be in the final version. Hopefully we do get, like, a upgrade so we can get, like, the G sound, like, songs and stuff. Yeah, I'm hoping that's the case, and I hope that we can still stream. Yeah, I hope yeah. we get, like, a deluxe version that has, because honestly, I would pay for that if, if they let me. <laughs> yeah, I would, too, because the thing with Dragon Ball Fighter is, like, you can stream it, but then if you turn the anime music on, then you can't stream it. Yeah, and I, which is why well, I could like, yeah, buy any anime songs. I'd be perfectly fine wanted. with that. I just want the option to be able to just natively stream and record. Yeah. Yeah. Without having to go through, like, an Elgato or some something like that. Yeah. Because it's the Wait. same for Versus. Speaking of Elgato, we were talking about Switches earlier. Are they sold out, too? Elgato? I tried to find oh. a capture card of any kind, and they were all, like, backordered till May. Cause like as soon as I checked the client last week, I was like, oh, I should find, I should. I'm like, well, let me just straight up buy a capture card, and then it was like, oh nope, everything's gonna show up in May. I'm like, yeah, that's late. I'll worry about it later. Yeah, I guess everybody's at home wanting to become a, a let's player or a streamer. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people try to podcast, so yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> hey, why not? This is the rise people of the internet. All right, I'm going to call it, and let's just go back to the normal rotation. No, all right. Man, that thing can drop and kick people. I'm just, I'm like, why can't it? Or maybe okay, it how like... do I exit? There we go. I want yeah. the perfect gun to do some pro wrestling and the other ones. Room disbanded. Uh, I'm going to change my Navis, because we've been using these two for a bit. Oh, yeah. I'm using Mur Rockets right now. I was using Deanna and Menus and then Zenerman in battle. Let's let's use let's see. <laughs> Just fly by the seed, like I don't care. Um all the reason to get a reason to get bright would be like tell you one thing, he'll set you straight. Exactly. I want I want bright during the Bright bright. Hey kid, wake up! I want bright I want bright as my battle battle Navi. Alright. Exactly. It's like waifu for the menu, actual commanders for the battlefield. Exactly. Cause I was yeah, I was running Zinnerman in the battle and then Deanna for the menus. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta think logically on these things. All right, Jojo are, Must Die is still here. Uh, they're all they're all in Japanese, yeah. They're all oh, subs. Jojo must die yet again. I think they I think they just don't do Gundam like game dubs anymore because that wealth of like that plethora of voice actors they had during the band entertainment days are all like off on other contracts. Yeah. 
Oh, gone, yeah. Yeah. I think the last one I remember that had extensive voice acting was uh, Dynasty Warriors 3. Yeah. It was the last one that had, like, extensive voice acting. That, that's because they pulled everybody from the Bandai dubs and then added in those that yeah. were from undubbed like, shows. Yeah, they couldn't, like, like, Camille and, and Hero and stuff, so. Yeah. And they, you know, they even uh, gave Moran and Jim uh, dub, dub voices. Mm-hmm. And they like that. Know, that was totally getting dubbed by by Bandai at one point before they decided to close up shop. Yeah, before Bandai Japan decided they're closing up shop. <laughs> they're like, you're not making enough money. We're closing you. Us Americans weren't profitable enough for them, so they decided to pull out. At least nowadays they're like, yeah, we're we got like we're we're basically brought on Nozomi as a second second party uh, distributor. Yeah, yeah. We've gotten every main Gundam, every Gundam TV show outside of like Build Divers, is out except for Seed and Seed Destiny. Like it's friggin' wild. Yeah, everything's everything's remaster. Yeah, like Seed Seed's remaster Blu-rays are coming out. There's they were scheduled for this year, but we'll see. Yeah, the remaster's like hella different, so they. They couldn't transplant the old dub over. Someone tried on the internet a while back, and then they're like, wait, Seed Remaster is two less episodes. Yeah, that's why we need to read them. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man, y'all lost, but... Down in effort, I guess. So the reason I asked about the sub or dub is because you got bright, and I'm like, wow, did he the, just... The First, the Rose of Zulu. That's even worse what the perfect Gundam did. Yeah, uh, that was uncomfortable. Again. Yeah, apparently the Rose and Zulu just, like, offs himself if he loses. And that's what happens to the original Gundam pilots, too. If they lose, they just self destruct. But, yeah, the perfect Gundam chopped his own head off. He oh must atone for his sins. He's yeah, like, he's my googly anime head eyes head did not save me. I am a champion. I think uh, part of the other reason why they don't dub the games anymore is because it, it's it's kind of to say what's the point? Because like I think because of simulcasting and Crunchyroll. People have gotten very used to Japanese voices, and they don't really require a dub for things anymore. Because in the old days, it was like, no dub, no purchase. But nowadays, it's like, there's like a whole hate train for dubs. So I'm like, it, it probably was Bandai Namco probably thinks like, mm, do we really, really need to spend all the money dubbing like 185 characters? Or would we be okay just throwing it in Japanese and calling it good. And the thing is, that seems to be the case, because they haven't dubbed a Gundam game in a long time, and no one's really complaining. Yeah. And the reason I ask, because you picked Bright, because um, Bright, the original VA died. I'm like, who, who was his replacement? Yeah. It's, it's whatever the, I guess, the new, the new VA for him is. Because in Dragon Ball, because Bright Noah was also Tien, yeah. It's, um, Hikaru Midori Kawa. And I'm like, is it, is it him for Bright as well? I'd have, I'd have to look it up. Because it, it would be his unicorn voice actor at that point. All right, I'm going to do uh, Johnny Ridden's high mobility late type Zaku. Mm, gotta love that Johnny and that Shin. I almost bought the real grade Johnny Ridden Zaku, but then I didn't. I kind of want to, but then that frame. That frame. Can we get... Frame. I really want real grade 2.0s to become a thing, where it's like, they just keep the armor, but they change the... They just give it a new frame. <laughs> he, has two, he has two replacements. Uh, really? I don't know which one is which. Which one would be... The one we're here and here. So the original 
don't know which one would be in this game. Yeah, these extreme Gundams is what's throwing me for a loop. I don't know how any of them function because I, so I don't know how to fight them. I can use Gundam logic. It's like when Jerry plays random characters in Tekken. It's like, oh, we, he he knows it because he's playing Tekken. <laughs> I know I know what these things do because Gundam. But then it's like, oh, these gun these game exclusive stuff or this manga stuff is like a little bit off for me. I'm kind of hoping we get the Gunpla bundle, because this time it's going to be a kit we never got over here. Instead of just a clear H2. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> like, did, did the H2 bundle sell well enough? I bought it. I bought it to make sure we could do that again. We can only hope. We do get the extreme... Whatever it was, the extreme Leo... 10th anniversary to get or whatever. Yes. I, I want it. It looks cool. But, again, it's like, will we get it? I don't know, because they haven't put pre-orders up yet. At all. We don't even know if the game getting a physical release. It's like, we know when it's coming, we just don't know how. And New Gundam Breaker did, too. But then, SD Gundam, I guess, understandably, yeah, just went... It, it went straight to Steam, and I was like, but you have an English version of the PS4 and Switch ones already done. I know. <laughs> that was very frustrating. I figure maybe the market wasn't big enough for a console release, but it was for putting it on Steam, I guess. Yeah, the part that gets me is, like, isn't that technically more work? To, like, I, port it to... Yeah, I guess it would be. It would be more work to port it to Steam than to just release... Yeah. The already done games. Yeah, I've released the Asian English version. Yeah, like if they hadn't, if they didn't have, lo if they didn't already have like English versions, I would understand. But the fact they have English versions that could have just been released digitally only. Yeah. Very confusing. I'm almost wondering if they're waiting till all the DLC is done and then they'll just throw it out on console. They're like, ah, oh, we made our money off the PC, so. Here's a complete edition for console. I don't think they'd be that nice to us. They never really are. So apparently Ken Narita is the guy who's mainly voicing him now in, in Bright. Oh. Well, Ken Narita. So I guess, I guess it's more likely it's Ken in this case. That makes sense. Because Ken is, um, he's in the Kawa Midori Kawa, who also played Rock Howard in King of the Fighters. Uh -huh. you know. I'm very. I kind of want to lose this match just to see what the Zaku 2FZ looks like when it dies. I've seen it when it dies. Uh, it's nothing special. Darn. I really wanted it just to be a pile of hamburgers. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, it's like I said, it's nothing special. It's usually like. Oh, Zaki can't be the Gundam? Ugh. What am I gonna do? Like, pro tip, oh, pro tip, avoid being in the air. Because yeah. being in the air is super vulnerable. <laughs> but it's easy to do because it's like you gotta double tap to dash. It's double tash is a boost dash, and then if you hold the button at all, it'll start sending you in the air. <laughs> Somebody using the uh, Geldav and the Ayn Rand. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the squat suit and its freaking monocycle. I tried using that thing and did not have as much success as I thought I would. Uh, <laughs> still, what? Oh, that's one thing I gave victory. A lot of the designs were pretty damn funky. Okay. I'm The Saku 2 FZ has a Santa Claus, and I really want to know how to activate it. Uh, me down melee. Down melee? Oh yeah, my! It's like it, yeah, it's like a it's like a mine basically. That's amazing. Giant exploding Santa balloon. Oh, that's how I summon the high gogs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, high gog. In, in blast. Yeah, 
fun to make the double turns be kind of like a donut count. Which doctor is that one? Since I looked away for like... That's the uh, SZ from War in the Pocket. Oh, okay. Bernie's suit. That's, the, oh, that's why you're talking about hamburgers. Yeah, it's though. Bernie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm going to summon Santa Clauses for people. This is going to be very festive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna try to kill an Exia with a Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, hey, you know, yeah, you can be pretty good if you're right up you know on it and then you lay it. That, that would be kind of like poetic justice. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay, that thing has a ton of setup frames. Oh well, yeah, and, uh, but, Festina's belief and the fact that Dorito likes Santa Claus punched heretics in the face. Yeah. Oh yeah, because Nick was, yeah, he actually did. <laughs> what was it, Council of Nicaea, I think, yeah. he actually, like, beat a guy because he didn't believe enough, like, yeah. believe hard enough. He's like, cause you believe, but you don't believe hard enough. It was like, because he was like a heretic or something like that, like, because that was the whole point of the council, was to like, point out what is heresy, what is yeah. uh, orthodox. So, so St. So Nicholas, uh, he's a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally going to hide behind the Santas and wait wait for the, the Exia to come after me. I learned that from uh, uh, this history thing I was watching. Um, they were talking about history of, of Christianity and they were like uh, and then some of the comments kept saying yeah they just punched the guy <laughs> <laughs> that was like all the comments had to care about that's all yeah. the comments <laughs> cared about not not any other you know, historical ramifications just just how, punch how, punch how, how Santa Claus had to had to lay hands yeah. on somebody because he just didn't believe enough can I get the Kudelia season two upgrade? That's a lot more uh, lively. Was there. She is, yes. And, and of course and, she and is. That's why I gave up on IBO because every wife I had IBO died. I was uh, like, you know what? Just screw this. Screw this. I literally I quit. I think I quit like six episodes from the end when I was watching it weekly, and then went back to it like two months later, and was like. Fine, I'm gonna finish it. Yeah. And even Atra got got her ass beat at one point, so Yep, she did. Alright, here we go, Alan B. There you go. It's an old Gundam. It was a manga for for um G Gundam. And like mm -hmm. people people complained about it because like the anime made Domon and Rain a thing, which is like, yeah, he's been with it since the beginning. But the mangaka for, hated that. He was like, he shipped Domon and, and, and Alan B, and he like, that was like, so he would crap on Rain, and, and crap on Alan, uh, Rain any chance he got. <laughs> oh, wow. Excuse me. Oh, Bless you. Here. Yay. The whole party's here. Aside from the guy that doesn't wake up for another hour. Hey, Darkon, welcome to the... Welcome to my live stream that's been going for 135 minutes. And I'm still having fun. Alright, time to mess people up with this melee attack. At least we got till tomorrow night to play things, though. Is it still on tomorrow? I thought it was only today. Uh, well, I checked. It says it runs until the 26th at, like... 10 p.m. Wait, it's two days? Oh. I will double... Let me, let me go look. Yeah, double check, because I can't check the email because I'm using my phone to live stream. <laughs> oh. What happened? Master Elephant passed away. Oh. Yeah. I'm. The, the American, the American one. I didn't, I didn't know he was still alive. I'm gonna be totally honest. Huh. Like he looked so old, like 12 years ago. <laughs> How old was he? 89. Dang, good for him. That's a, that's a good number. Oh, here's the Lord of the Rings. I didn't know that. New Zealand actor. They were all in Lord of the Rings. 
Pretty much anyone that's been in Power Rangers, like in New Zealand, was in Lord of the Rings. Or, or you know, the, the Hercules verse shows. Yeah. Because quite a few of them were in those too, like Hercules, yeah, Xena, Young Hercules. Hercules. Yeah. They were showing Xena earlier on Sci-Fi. There's a lot of yeah, yeah, I know. Cause just watching uh, Xena for the first time in a long while, like last year, I noticed a lot of you know Power Ranger actors like Elsa and you know that like yeah, a lot of the New Zealand based ones showing up. I was like, oh, that's cool. What? When was that? Well, that was Disney when they were in New Zealand, right? They're yeah. still in New Zealand, but they... Well, well, they still are, but the difference is now uh, they're actually getting American actors for the most part and bringing them over as opposed to using local talent for the main roles. Like, they still do occasionally. Like, what was it? Chase was, was uh, New Zealand. Was it Kiwi and such, but... Yeah, him... Was what was it? Him... New Zealand... New Zealand or Australian actors. Yeah, because the thing is, is like with Dino Charge, um, and this is how the audience comes back because Power Rangers. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, with Dino Charge, it was like, yeah, Dino Charge Black, uh, Black Graphite, and Cyan. What was it? No, Aqua. Okay. They were all New Zealand actors, but Aqua got dubbed over by somebody. That was the weirdest thing. Okay. So They're like, your accent's too thick. We're redubbing okay, you. Okay, it, it goes until April 27th at 4 a.m. Central European time. Two days. Really? I misread that email completely then. Me too. Yeah, it, uh, I was going to say, like, why would it be one day? I'll fill up. <laughs> I'll have to see what the difference is. Go check the Twitter for Bandai Namco, too, because they might have a different... Central European Summertime. Okay, it basically goes until 8 p.m. to, uh... 10 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night. Wow. Tomorrow, 10 oh. So be... it goes until tomorrow night, basically. Well, that's neat. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but my... My headset only one side. Uh, since it's the party, the party chat only come out of one one headset side. Okay, yeah, that's that's weird. The party chat's not stereo. Oh, that's fine. I thought it was something wrong with my. Yeah, no, that was, like the first the first time I like wore both headphones, I was like, wait, why do I only hear like half the audio? It's like. I love how she just sum summons the Mandela as an assist. How did we lose? Aw. Uh, how did you? You guys were doing well. Blue Destiny got got murked. I don't know why I keep using the phrase murked lately. It's just a thing. Because it's a cool Gundam. phrase, man. Gundam things get murked. Well, that's true. This menu looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is like this is what you s what, what's known as a fully finished game. <laughs> yeah, this is what's known as a proper game that has been in arcades for years, and they've had time to refine it. And it's in the the network connections have been great so far. Also, there's a Zaku head Zeta, and I'm in love yeah, with. Yeah, that was DLC for for the uh, first game. It's pretty oh much God, all the DLC suits that. from the first game are in here, as well as all the new ones they added for uh, Maxi Boost. As well as like, I, th I think they only added a couple more for Maxi Boost on. Like, yeah, it's the the one. Zaku Amazing, and then something from yeah. G Reco. But the thing is, is that um, is that the those two aren't in the beta. Yeah. And the Barbatos Lupus Rex also isn't either. And that, they'll probably be DLC then. Yeah, because essentially it's like, I think they said, I th if I'm not mistaken, they're developing the Zaku Amazing and the, the G-Reco thing. Yeah. Um, I think it was what the G-Lucifer, I think. The G-Lucifer, yeah. So, yeah. G-Lucifer and Zaku Amazing are being developed for this game, so I think that's why they're not here, because they're not done. Because, yeah, like I said, they'll be DLC then, most likely. Yeah. Um, and then the pre-order bonus is Barbatos Lupus Rex. Which is probably why I'm so eager to pre-order the game. Because <laughs> I want my dang... Like, hell, like, like, I want to play 
I will too. I want my Lupus like, Rex. I'm, I'm kind of more into, yeah, like, I'll, I want to see if there'll be a physical edition, because I definitely want to pick that up. Ideally, I want the physical edition with the Gunpla. Like I said, especially if there's some kind of deluxe with the G-Sound stuff. Yeah. I got less inclined for the Gunpla than I am for the G-Sound stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The mu yeah, the music packs would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, how do you boost four? Double tap. If you it, so basically, if you hold X, it'll just raise you into the sky. But if you double tap, you know, double tap plus a direction, it'll dash in that direction. You don't really want to be in the air too much because you can get shot down easily. Yeah. But like, you double tap, you start boosting, and then you just move, and it. Continue. It's a little weird and awkward to get the hang of. One thing I could use to say is, even though the, a lot of the gun decays we got are either good or okay, uh, in terms of how the graphical quality of how the gun looks, look, it's been kind of lackluster. This looks really clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this is not this is not like Gundam Versus or um or New Gundam Breaker where they look really muddy. Yeah. Okay, uh the rising gun kind of sucks. Yeah, some of the lower cost suits are like awful. But then some of them are like like the you know, you lose less when you die. Yeah, but then the gun easy I was destroying people with. Basically. Yeah, you'll be dying a lot, but the trade off is you won't cost your 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 gauge that much. Like that's that's like the yeah, that's the trade off essentially. But if you're really good with front suits though, you can actually do a lot of freaking damage, especially if they're using like two thousand, three thousand cost suits, and you're using one that's like two thousand or fifteen hundred. Yeah, like when there's a three thousand, I try to headhunt it from a distance and see if I can just chip it away. Because like once that, that loses half the. Because the 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 point meter is six thousand for each team. Mm -hmm. So if you take out the three thousand cost early, then that gives you like a huge advantage. Uh, ch remap the buttons then. The reason why is because like when you transfer it to an arcade stick, circle is like one of the hardest buttons to hit by accident because it's between fingers. And since this is, you know, arcade-based. I was happy to see Legacy joy uh, joystick support. Which, because most, most games abandon that concept. Like, that used to be a thing early in the PS4's life cycle, but most games abandon it, but they kept it here, so. I am losing because I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get used to, because it's... it's... Well, you can always, you can always, like, you can screw around in the little, like, training box mode while you're looking for matches. You can go into free battle and... Try to get the feel of it. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can just remap, remap them to something that makes more sense for you. It's like I'm using the touchpad right now for my uh, EX burst. Oh yeah, I'm used to just using uh, R3, so that's just what I use. Me and my teammate just stabbed the Age FX at the same time. HFFs go boom. <laughs> Essentially. You know what? I, I, I want to randomly find sound out while I'm playing this, and then we will f find out once and for all who's the true Gundam nerd of Hero Club. Oh. Oh, that's me. No. <laughs> no, but uh, no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going now, so I'll see you. All right. Okay, see, you, Gary. <laughs> see you later. Thanks for joining. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Well, not okay, so, uh, what do I do specifically, like, I need to understand to pick? Um, let's see. If you're...
since you're you're playing, you go to the 1500 or 2000 um, people because uh, th those those low costs are going to help you early because that way when you like because you'll die a lot when you don't when you aren't too familiar with the game. Um, so you want to go with a lower cost so that way it doesn't impact your team too much. Yeah, it's on the character select screen, like right above the name. It's the number. It's fifteen hundred, two thousand, twenty five hundred, or three thousand. Yeah, I don't see those numbers here. Where are you looking at? Uh, machine select. Machine select. Yeah. It, yeah, those numbers should be there. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, because the numbers should just be in the character portraits. Yeah. Let's see. For example, I'm at double O. I'm looking at the Avalanche Exia. It just says sets it up to say first player Avalanche Exia. That's it. You're not looking in the right spot. That's the actual character part on the side. You need to look on the actual roster buttons. Mm -hmm. Like on the right side. Oh, I should check and see if we can do screenshots. No reason why you shouldn't be able to. Yep. Right? Screenshots are still allowed. Oh, yeah, they don't give a shit about screenshots, but don't you dare stream. Don't you dare stream this competitive game. That would make great live entertainment and would help boost the, the sales and the, the visibility. But there's no music in the game. <laughs> That's the problem. I just think it's funny the way that they probably were thinking. But I still think it might be a Sunrise thing, though. I but then again, if I remember right, for the uh, Gundam Versus beta, it, like, they only had, like, two songs. So it wouldn't surprise me if they'll add the licensed ones to the final product. Okay, I said you were going to screenshot out of the bigger, trying to figure out what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, I have to check it in a minute. Uh. Oh! Are you still potato camming it? I am still potato camming it because it's still blocked from native streaming. Gotta love that bio sensor, baby. The reason why I'm not seeing it is because I'm in free battle. Possibly. Because I don't see any of the things here in free battle. Uh, let me finish this match and then I'll come look at your screenshot. Which everyone gets to see on the stream. <laughs> like, what's weird is... Uh, the weird part is... Uh, I could see the amount when I'm on the now selected screen, but I do not see it when I'm actually selecting the character. All right, let's see. Oh. Let's check out. Oh, I just got a bug. Yeah, it's it's the numbers are right there on the actual side part, the the right hand side where you're selecting the mobile suit icons. Okay, let's Here, go. Go to my live stream, and I'll literally point it at you. Okay. So my arm looks super weird doing that. Hold on. Yeah, just just. Just go over my channel, and yet you can see where I'm pointing at. It's it's right above the it's the name of the mobile suit, and then it's the number right above it. Wow, it's so tiny! I can't see that. Yeah, it's because your eyes suck, just like mine. I think we play too many video games, and then we can't see things. Not bad. You know what? Alright, I'm going to play as a G-Zaku warrior, because I haven't played as a single seed suit. So I got to play as something, it's like, you know, it's like required, I think. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the chat. I'll play as Dragon Gundam next. Okay, the Zaku Warrior is actually not bad. It's got a, like, cool melee stuff.
It's still surreal to see build build uh, series related stuff in a non build related series. Yeah, but it's pretty I mean, nice. Like I, I don't know what the context for for the build strike showing up in this game is. I don't think there is context because the perfect Gundam's here. Darkon, you have to play as the perfect Gundam. It's in the Mobile Suit Gundam category, but it's okay. it's literally it's amazing. He's got the goofy anime eyes and everything. Oh god! Okay, okay, no lord. And I died again. Why? Wow, I have no idea what I'm doing. Actually, I have a perfect way to justify the context. I have the perfect way to justify the build the build mobile suits being here. Is it like re Turns out, oh, it's an alien world. Bingo. Except it's more just the shining sand part. Uh, it's 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 a digital mobile suit remade with the uh, shining sand to be a physical attribute. That that's what the that's what the mission that's how it is. That's my explanation for the hot scramble and the build strike and the Zaku amazing and stuff. It, sounds, uh, it could it could be worse when it comes to uh, this demo. You could be like. Here's the here's the demo that you could play, right? Let's go be play X amount of times like we did with the 3DS demos. Look, oh my god, those idea. those were ridiculous. It was like, oh, you can only play it 30 times, and I was like, it was annoying, but at the same time, like, when do I play more than 30 times though for a demo? Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, that one. Well, yeah, that would suck for people who because it took a long time for it actually come out, and the demo came out relatively like early. That's the reason. Oh, yeah, because I got delayed, like, twice. Yeah. I remember um, Extreme Butoden had a demo, and I was like, I want to play more of this, and then the game came out, and I was like, oh, I'm good now. <laughs> I very much liked Extreme Butoden. I know most people didn't, but I really liked it. Does this game have uh, couch co-op? It does, yes, but not in the beta. Well, yeah, obviously. And it's expected to be in the beta. But I think it's a free battle option. I lost even faster that time. I lost pretty bad this time because his gun to mechs got destroyed. I'm so stoked. This this is a blast. Like, and the fact that the online in the beta is this solid is kind of amazing. Alright, let's see. Let's get I just lost is the cross bone X1. Okay, so where did you say the perfect Gundam is? It's in the mobile suit Gundam category. The mobile suit Gundam. The so fact that like it instantly loads into a match sometimes is magical. It's 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 insane, man. Because GBO2 doesn't load that good. God, yeah, versus doesn't load that good. GBO doesn't load that good. No one ever played New Gundam Breaker. I, I tried it. I got an online match day one, and that was it. Never again. Because, like I said, even when that thing's on, like, super ass sale for, like, under 20 bucks, I, I still don't get it. Don't buy it. It's literally trash. Like, they updated it nine times. They put out nine. It's on version nine was the last update. was version nine, and they still didn't have it, like, decent. Uh, sound on it says that... It says that you can change from player to player two. I guess it does exist. Oh, is it in the... Oh, I'll have to try that out. Oh, I guess, yeah. Maybe they do have couch co-op in the beta. There's this beta there. is extensive. Like, nobody's missing. Yeah. All all the, the navigators are unlocked, just not their alternate costumes. Yeah. Well, of course not. Because that's stuff you buy with the GP points. Yeah. There's also intimacy ratings on the, on the navvies, which I find to be funny. Well, I guess they'll act more favorably to you the more you use it, I guess. What the actual hell is this perfect Gundam? Wow. It's, it's from the old manga. It's... It's from Build Fighters, before Build Fighters. Build Fighters in the 90s, called Palomo Kokiru. Where, where, where our boy, uh, Kokiru, built himself a custom Gundam called the Perfect Gundam. And has large anime DVD eyes. Not to mention some of the other really stupid ass designs from that show. Uh, well, it's not a show, but that manga, I guess. Is there any shielding you guys in this game? Uh, yes, but like usual, it's you quickly back down the knot. And it basically is, there's no reason to do it besides, you can just dodge. Well, it's one of those things where if you see an attack 
coming in, you can do it to block it. But it's so hard to, to pull off. It's just... It's, yeah, it's, it's like one of those advanced checks. That, that kind of the, the guys who are good at the game make it look easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's that. Or it's better than the older games where uh, there was no real blocking. Because I remember in Versus and Next Plus, there was no real, like, real blocking. It's like, you only really block things if, like, the melee or projectiles actually, like, hit your shield that you were holding. And if your character didn't have a shield, you couldn't block, like, at all. Yeah. Hello. Uh, this Epion is a nightmare. How's my phone at 20% battery when it's plugged in charging? I. That's why my Skype is going. So. That, that'll be starting at the uh, top of the hour here. So. I gotta figure out why my phone is like losing power while plugged in. I think the stream is causing it to take more power than than the PlayStation can put out. Because I, I have it plugged into the PlayStation, so. Oh, yeah, you might want to plug it into an outlet. Yeah. Now I gotta. I, I got like an actual wall. I was like, oh, the PlayStation has enough power. And I'm like, oh, right, I have a five way splitter on my USB, so maybe not. So, yeah, you might want to plug it into a wall then. So you can get the box from over Mount of Power. Question is, can I get power to it? Also, I have no idea if the stream can hear me from this far away. I don't know either. <laughs> Darn, I don't. I gotta go grab a power adapter. I will be right back. Watching uh, Saturday morning block at ABC. Yes, sir. Will 22 gallons be sufficient? Ah, shark raising me. Ah. And I'm not even an underage girl. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not going to go there. Well, no, it's the meme of Shark Likes and Yum. I know. You know, it says Lala and then Quest and all that other nice stuff. Even though he had a perfectly fine bitch in Rekawa, who, you know, went to the dark side because, you know, wouldn't give her the D. Is that the real answer? Question is, can I plug in his phone? <laughs> All right, let's see. Apple, why are your cords so short? As long as I can't, I don't accidentally unplug the PlayStation, we'll be good. Come on, you're so close. Okay. There we go. I think we're charging again. We are charging again. Okay. Back to action then. There's a figure standard. I figure I standard? 
Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'd buy a Hibiki kit. Cool, I, I love Hibiki. I still feel like I need to buy Zonki and Ibuki, but I feel like I don't at the same time, just because their prices. Okay, now I really want it. That's the thing is the model kits get away with doing cool stuff like that. Yeah. You know what? Let's see if my first match I can win is with an Akai. Let's see what happens. Go for it. Which one are you using though? Are you using the Moji Gundam one or the one from Double Data with Lamar? I actually don't remember that one. Oh wait, that's right. Oh uh, one... yeah, because there's that one time Lamar used an Akai in Double Data, so they're like, yo, let's put it in the game. And they're like, okay. I never watched Double Data, so I wouldn't know. Well, there's, that's the reason why we have this data, the, the Zaku had its data in this game. Because that's a thing that happened once in double data. I'm trying Mac Knife now, so let's see how this goes. In Gundam Versus, the Mac Knife is like one of my like main. That thing was pretty cool, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know if I played it that much. Well, I liked it because it was just really, really quick. You could do a lot of nice trapping moves. Plus, it had cross missiles. Did you know? Gotta love okay, those cross missiles. Is the top bar that pulls, if you lose too much of that bar, you lose steel again? Yeah, because yeah. it, it's 6,000 points essentially, but that's the bar, is the health bar for your team. Yeah, it's, your team's, it's your team's point bar, yeah. This is funny. This is a fight between me and a G Self Reflector pack, and I'm winning. I just crotch missile it till it died. Yeah. Yes, because yeah, because the the, the Mac knife you fire two is actually two pretty powerful cross missiles. Yeah. Because that is literally where they are, even in the high grade. He literally has two cross missiles. <laughs> and I lost. Just for a heads up, Dark on the the um well, the upper bar is your team, and then the lower bar is the enemy. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not yours, it's right theirs. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of stand to read them, so. It also does say enemy at the bottom and team at the top. So. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were able to read that on your TV or not. Well, that I could. Oh, I'm being bodied now. Oh, man. You got some cables together. Got these. That's just six of the other act guy. Oh, man. We got the battle of the crossbows. The X1 versus the X2. Kikato now versus Zabi Shadow. Who will win? <laughs> we need to do commentated streams. The, the, first, the first version of the Akai is only 800, but her version is 2000. Yeah, because she's a Montana, motherfucker. That's pretty much it. Because it's a that's why. That's the only answer. Like Alright, I'm gonna go change my navvies again just for By the way, uh, I forgot the name of the things that the Akai summons. Is that is that aquatic one with the, the weird elephant head? The uh juggler? Jagu? The Jagu, yeah. Oh, I almost yeah. called it a jugglish juggler, but that was wrong. <laughs> wrong franchise down there. I know this now. <laughs> wow, they have both Lala in her robe and Lala in her uniform. Awesome. So much variety. I know, right? Uh, going with our girl Audrey Byrne, eh? <sighs> my unicorn. My unicorn bias. Alright, let's see. Where is she? Where is... There she is. I want Sumeragi to lead me into battle. Let's uh, let's change the gauge design just for the heck of it. Oh, gold's cool. All right. Yeah, I should probably do that, man. Yeah, they they gave you like a decent amount of customization in this version too. Hmm. 
I'm really impressed with this game. Well, yeah. Especially after playing, you know, Gundam versus PS4 for years, I'm kind of ready for a uh, much faster paced change. Oh yeah, this is this is like night and day. Well, yeah, like I said, this is more like the older versus games, like the actual arc ones that were in arcades. That's it. Time to get some superior role suits. Oh God, what are you... <laughs> Those are the only ones that exist in matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's universe time. Gold sumo. I can't believe it's happening still. Actually, no, there, there, there was never a bound dog, Dark Dog. Oh. It was actually the, the first, like, like, modern model kit of the bound dog. Because I think there was, like, was there one for, like, way back in, like, 86? I don't remember. Like a no-grade one? Yeah, like a no-grade from 86. But I want to say there was. Because I, I think I've seen it reissued a couple times. Yeah, there probably was in the original yeah, like, no-grade. Well, yeah, resin kit, but this is like OG, this is like OG Bandai, like actual high grade. And probably because it's such a weird design with kind of a I weird swear, transformation. I swear I've seen an actual regular high grade back then that were older ones. Well, I'll double check it here in a minute, because I'm, I'm in the middle of a match. And what do you know, I just killed the Strike Freedom with, uh, our boy Hannibal Dr. Gelgu. Oh, wow. The nightmare of Solomon lives again. I, uh, I died because, um, well, reasons. That reason being I ran out of ammo. How do you spell found dog really weird, too? B A U N D. Yeah, it's bound off dog. Yeah. Is it in this game so I can get you a spelling? <laughs> well, yeah, it's in the game because that's what we're talking about. Yeah, B A U N D D O C. Okay, it received a no grade during Zeta, a B club resin kit, and an S D. No grade. Yeah. I knew it! Using a C, using a C bowl, so it was the only way I want. Yeah. It also got uh, two roll, uh, two MSIAs, but it has not received... MSIA years ago. I was gonna say, but it has not received a proper, like, model cut. One, any of the current, you know, grades until, until they announced the, the high grade bound off. Oh, by the way, guys, I finished, I finished my high grade Mazinger Z last night, and it's literally my favorite kit ever. Nice. The thing is incredible. It, it literally, like, it's, it's finished, right? So, like, the building part's done. It doesn't feel like a model kit anymore. It literally just feels like a straight-up action figure. It's not, not like that model kit feel. It's insane. Right. Cool, man. I do like that they also have both versions of the Banshee in here, the original and the norm, too. Oh, yeah, because they would play, because they, they play different. Which is nice. Yeah, well, yeah, because they've got Marina in one and Riddy in the other, so that makes complete sense. Oh no, the Mark II got beat by the Wing Zero. Well, who knew? Cute Mary Go Around by Chemistry. Yes. Well, no, it was uh, Ria Am. I'm talking OG, uh, OG Ovas here, but yeah. It still was Re-I-Am. <laughs> oh no, I got shot. We do not acknowledge Re-I-Am here. I, I think Quad Catch was the default for the Wing Zero. Because they don't let you pilot switch as far as I can tell, or else that's something somewhere hidden, but... I don't think this game lets you pilot switch. Because I know, like, the Bandai, like, website lists all the pilots of the, the Wing Zero available. Yeah, I know, because I, 
if I remember right, for the PS3 version of uh, Versus Full Boost, um, that one and Lachis in the Justice were DLC. Yeah. Well, they're not. Well, you're not supposed to hold the boost too long. It's kind of like a. Yeah, it's meant to quickly get you around and probably have a cooldown though, so you don't. You're not constantly using it all the time. Supposed to be strategic, man, with your boost. It's a fighting game. Even if it breaks like a lot of fighting game rules, it has so many others. It's like Smash Brothers. It's like it still has enough rules to make it a fighting game. Let's see. Tacky is the most weirdest looking thing ever. I don't know what it is yet because I didn't see the full list, but I'm going to choose the weirdest looking one and see what happens. Okay. What? What have you chosen? I'm saying I haven't chosen yet because I'm trying to look for it. Well, there is a bunch of really weird looking ones we are gone, so. So, yeah. Uh, you know what's so weird? I kind of like how they actually have the, the art Gundam in here and not the throne fly like they do in Versus. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Well, mind you, that one has all the Team Trinity suits, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, I just started. I'm gonna choose and they included the... Ali Al as a, you know, as a swappable pilot, so that does kind of make sense. I'm or this one just has... Oh, what, what Darkon, sorry? I'm gonna choose the thing that didn't even fit his character. What the actual fuck is this thing? What is it? What's the name? It's a tank! It's like him oh, the whole dolphin. What the fuck is this thing? Igloo! <laughs> yeah, the whole goal here from Guys, I'm gonna use the Penelope. This is probably gonna end badly. Oh lord. What do you mean I lost? <laughs> okay, I lost. Yeah. How could I have lost in a tag team yet game? No, it's because this thing sucks. I'm playing as the Penelope. I don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah, I I saw the gunpla for it at Barnes and Noble before I made my like my uh my lockdown gunpla purchase, but I also didn't want to buy it. <laughs> I was like, eh. Because I have the narrative Apex. Because the core Gundam itself, the Odysseus, is about the size of a Master Grade. Damn. Because these, because in like in scale, these things are like giant mobile suits. They're like half the size of a Psycho. That's friggin' nuts. Yeah, I was like, I don't know where to put it because I have things like the narrative Apex and the Psycho Gundam that I have trouble putting places. For being a beginner, I'm definitely going to choose one of the easiest to use mobile suits, and that's the Nightingale. Well, hey, you know, you, you know the, whatever helps you learn the ropes. Also, this is somehow became a Penelope mirror match, and I'm very scared. Like, how does this keep happening? Every time I pick the, the really powerful suits, someone else goes with it. <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to pick now? I'm going to pick the Zoid. Look out. 
Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got playing as, yeah, Walt Phil's Legal. <laughs> and somehow we lost again. There's all kinds of factors. This is like. This game is wild because it's not like other fighting games you can figure out, like, why you lost necessarily. Like, yeah. sometimes it's just. There's literally 183 character things to choose from. Admittedly, some of them are just like. Palette, like uh, not not necessarily palette swaps, but like ver like just variations on the same suit. Yeah. Like oh oh this one has, is cockpit flying the wing zero. Oh this one's lockers to mean Senate justice. Oh this one's you know this one's Walt held in the Gaia Gundam. You know. Some someone broke the game. I think they closed the game right as they finished oh, the match. Lord, yeah, I've, I've run into a couple. Uh, Couple hangs like that. I've actually uh, report using the bug report to report them. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go do that. Let's see. Whatever, folks. That's the whole. That's the whole point of this thing. Oh yeah. Essentially, uh, weird really beta testers for this thing. So. Doggy spin. I'm having a blast with this. I mean, I've been streaming for 177 minutes. I haven't checked the chat in a bit. Uh, Orville said, I uploaded a sad Power Rangers video. It's about Bruce Allpress. Yeah, I just heard from Darkon that he passed away. Yeah, man, sucks. Um... No, my Zoid's dead. My precious Zoid. My, my blaster, blaster wolf, I guess. Is that what we're calling it now? I, I don't know what to call it. It's basically a dog with cannons and beam sabers in its mouth. So, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my boy Shining Gundam. I, I played as him first. I played as him first and lost pretty bad, so I'm like, well, time to go back, see if I learned something. Time to go back to the past to play the shooting game that suck ass. Nice. See, I need to learn how to do these fighting type characters where they get in really close because that's kind of like my problem is I keep if I'm gonna if I'm gonna play if I'm gonna play the G Gundams I gotta learn how to get in close but I can't I keep getting stopped There we go. I almost thought I answered Sound Out's match because I'm fighting somebody in the Shining Gun. <laughs> no. It's, it's not you. It's somebody else using the Shining Gun at the moment. Yeah. And I get to fight him using the doggy. Aw, oh, man. My teammate got taken out. Just like she did in Age. Ooh. Shot through the heart. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm not giving up on Shining. I'm gonna learn them. Netflix, you don't need to send me an email to remind me to finish yeah. Ghost in the Shell. I'm gonna do that later today. Basically, um, I haven't had to watch it yet. The headset was giving me issues, so um, 
Oh, uh, the headset connected via only the mic, and I don't listen to you via the TV. That works. Oh, hey, whatever works for you. That's what I've been doing, so that way the audio will um will come through the stream. <laughs> So honestly, potato camming the stream was honestly not as 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 bad as I thought it would be. Oh yeah, hey yeah, it could been a lot worse. Oh no, the burning's out for me. Uh, dog, you need to hit. Oh, I have been vanquished. It is interesting yet again, burning Gundam, not God Gundam. Wait, the ET9 doesn't have a doesn't have a pilot? Uh the E the the what? The Easy 9 There's no Easy 9 The ES. Sorry, I don't know why I don't know why I said Easy 9 I meant to say uh the XS. The EX9. I don't know why I said Yeah, the extraordinary superior. No, because it's because it's the uh, first AI controlled uh, mobile suit. Wow. So yeah, because it's the second AI. one tech could be tech could be the FedEx because even though it's even though it's obviously piloted by you know who. Well, that's piloted by the soul of a human, uh, dead human. Technically AI, but. I finally won with The Shining. I'm very happy. I think The Rising is always... I'm going to try The Rising. That's what I'm doing right now. Well, it was just there to give Rain, like, a suit for a bit. Yeah, yeah, basically, it was like, hey, here's this backup suit we have, and it's, yeah, literally, like, hey, Rain, here's something for you to pilot. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, they did that also, because it's like, so guys, we got a problem. We didn't sell enough shinies. People wanted to get the burning. What are we going to do? I know, let's rebrand it as something else. I mean, you're not wrong. The kit is essentially the same kit. It just, like, the thing is, is that the, sh the rising kit comes with the shining shoulders. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we could get a modern high grade. I w yeah, I wish we could get a high grade. Uh, yeah, modern high grade rising because it, it's literally the same thing. It's like, you just like need to make like four new parts. By the way, can we get new maps? Because this map is boring already. What do you mean new maps, Darkon? There's like 20 stages. I think it's just not randomizing you well. Because online it randomizes. But I don't know how it randomizes because I get I get different ones almost every time. Oh. It, you could be stuck in a random loop because that happened to me, where I had like the same stage like four times in a row. Yeah. Uh 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 red frame R D. You, you, you do, oh okay no you are killing me never mind. It's like nope no oh, wait you are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> You will not kill me today. Oh, you, you killed me today. Tall geese hang in there. I'm about to murk these guys. Okay, that's one down. Yay, Eric is in that. It's two down. I gotta wait for the perfect to cost over and then... Where are you? Okay, that's how I know how damn, I damn, Rising's EX Burst is so good. It's like if you actually catch your opponent, it does like hella damage. And by hella damage, I mean like hella damage. I don't know, I was never able to unleash it. So. Yeah, like the thing is, is like the rest of its moves are kind of weird. And like the fact that you have to switch modes to go from melee to, to ranged. But other than that, like... If you can actually do the the final burst, it, it, it just like grabs 
it just grabs the enemy and then just puts them in the bow and then just pulls the bow back and then just like shoots straight through them. It's incredible. One thing that does kind of suck about Gundam games in general, for to tell, is the actual dialogue and voices just sound like just sound like audio form, basically. Like it's just not really there for you to really like, pay attention to. It's just loud noise. I think that's also why they don't bother dubbing these games because the resources that would it would yeah. require to go into that would just be like, yeah, no, you're just gonna add to more. It's just, it's just more, it's just more sound effects, essentially. Yeah. But at the same time, I would never play these kind of games with the audio off, because then it'll just be stupid. Yep. The audio is part of it, where there's just like a bunch of people screaming the whole time. Yeah. I drink it, heart. Take your medicine. Oh, and I killed. Oh, I got wrecked by the Quanta full saber. I will take my revenge. That happens. You just get people that are like really good at what they're doing. No, I mean, like, the AI is ridiculous. Yeah. Also, Darkon, if you're playing AI battle... I, I didn't know you were playing free battle. You can change the stage. You didn't go to the select stage menu? It's on the left. That's that's why you're... you're you, yeah, that's why that's happening. Cause I thought you were playing online, because online it's random, but... Okay, I've officially been streaming for three hours and I'm still, I'm not tired of playing. This is, this is nuts. Like usually even games I really love, I would get tired after three hours, but I'm going to keep going. Like, one thing I'm kind of on the fence of is them removing uh, assists compared to, like, uh, versus. I guess so, but at the same time, like, half the roster seems to have, like, assist characters anyways. Well, that's true, too. So it's not really a big loss, you know what I mean? But it'll, it'll take, take a little getting used to, but I'm sure I won't miss it. It, it does, like, reduce the number of things you have to select on a character select yeah, screen. Oh yeah, that's true, too. So that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. That's the thing with, like, Dragon Ball Fighters adding... Yeah, like, the the optional assists in Dragon Ball Fighters are great, but it also means there's, like, seven steps to get to a match. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, Battle for, like, great, which is only, like, maybe, like, three steps max. <laughs> character, costume, Megazord. Pretty much. <laughs> at that point, even just selecting a stage really doesn't matter. They're all literally functioning exactly the same. Oh yeah, they're all just set dressing, really, because they're all just flat planes. That's how most 2D fighters are. Oh yeah, I was going to say, it's a 2D fighter. It's not like a 3D fighter or anything. Mortal Kombat and Justice have done a great job of incorporating, like, the actual, um... The actual, like, interactable objects add to the strategy. Oh, yeah, and of course you can send them off too if you really want. So. Yeah, and, like, Injustice especially, because it's, like, you don't want, like, a tech character on a stage that mostly has power-type uh, uh, interactables. Mm -hmm. now, another, now, for fighters, that also stage is also determined in the battle, too. Oh, yeah, because of the transitions yeah. and the sizes of the stages. Here, I think the stage is, like, very key to everything because they're they're laid out differently. 
Yeah. So Penelope and I can't remember the names from F91. It's the dude with the eye patch. Come on. Oh, his... Yeah, that's a good team. Mm -hmm. Like that. That actually is a real solid team. All right. I want to go. You know what? That's it. I'm doing a 1500 random. I'm gonna do a 1500 random and see what I get. Oh, I got Zeta head Zaku, or uh, the Zaku head Zeta. <laughs> that could be a fun one too to challenge yourself to just hit one of the cost randoms and just see what you get. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start doing that for the next part of the stream. I was, I was doing grunt suit hour, now this is a random select hour. Yeah. So you get what you get. The nice part with this game coming out in July is I won't lose all this muscle memory by the time we get to release. Unlike Guilty yeah. Gear, where I'm definitely not going to remember anything that I learned while playing the beta. Yeah, yeah, and on top of that, you have the factor of characters coming in. The like, hopefully, they'll be adding more characters that are like, because like right now, like the only like my favorite was Chip, but I also learned Axel. The thing is, like, my favorite Guilty Gear characters haven't made it in yet. So, like, if they do add them, then I'm going to be playing them only, so. Like, my, my, my Guilty Gear corner of my arcade stick art has, like, Chip, Leo White Fang, uh, Sin Keisuke, and Eno, uh, and Answer. So many of them. I, I voted for all of them. The, the survey actually had this thing of, like, which characters would you like to see return? Oh, and I think a match died. It froze. This is what happens when you're on a G-Record stage. It's going to be incomplete. Only to be fixed years later. But when are they going to add Goku? Um, did Masako Nozawa voice anyone in Gundam? No. Well, there goes that option then. I know, I was just joking, because, you know, the <laughs> Smash fans, whenever it comes time for a new DLC character, like, what about Goku? What about this anime character, or this manga character? Well, yeah, that's the thing, they're like, what about Goku, what about Luffy? Blah, blah, blah. Manga, manga. They've been in a lot of games. Yeah, so has Darth Vader, but no one's asking for him. They say, yeah, 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 then they say, you know, game characters only, but then people are like, well, where's Chrono? Where's Gino? And, well, yeah, but like I said, the, the, the other people just don't care about anime sword fighters, so it's like, they want anime characters, but then when an anime sword fighter gets involved, it's like, no. What? They just hate Fire Emblem, because they're not smart enough to be able to play it. By the way, from what I can tell, I heard some people actually want Soul Bad Guy in the game for some reason. Because Guilty Gear is awesome, and he'd be perfect for Smash. That, that, that would kind of fit, Plus, he's like he's he's like the face of Guilty Gear. Like, it's just like with Ryu. It's like yes, there are other characters, but you're gonna pick the the main. Okay, oh, we're gonna. Yeah, like, with King of, like, like, like with King of Fighters, there, yeah, they went with Carrie because he's the most uh, recognizable character out of them. And like, he also had a different move set than other Smash characters. Yeah. Yeah, and like the thing with Terry too is he started in, you know, Fatal Fury, so. Well, yeah, he started with Fatal Fury, yeah. Well, I guess some people would argue that Geese is more recognizable than Terry is, but I don't know. I think I'm going to stream for another 45 minutes and then call it a day. <laughs> I'll get to the exact four hour mark and, and call it from there. Yeah, I'll probably be heading out in a minute or two here. The Geek Fighter is going to be starting up soon. Yeah. I never usually stream on Saturdays, so this has all been weird. Yeah. Play this a little bit more, probably take a break, play something else, and probably play it some more tonight. Yeah, I'll probably play some more off stream later. Yeah, because it runs till like 10 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. I'm going to try an online battle, let's see how this goes. 
Best of luck. Someone named themselves Chibiday. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I'm teamed up with a high new. Every high new player doesn't know how to play the high new, and then they just cause the team to lose faster. Oh, meanwhile, I have no idea how to use this extreme Gundam thing. Oh, God. That would be weird. Then, then everyone goes like, quick, see what the Zaku does, and then just started throwing rocks. What does the Zaku say? Doan Zaku with his friggin' rocks. And he's still in this game too, so that's great. That makes me happy. Yep, lost because the high new lost. From, you know, the, the worst episode ever. When it's really not that bad compared to, like, Twilight Axis. I mean, like, it's kind of stupid if you think about it, but it's not horrible. It's just the animation is legendarily god tier, like, god shit tier. I find it funny that, it, that like, for most, it's, like, the act guy in this game and all that. Their, their sword attacks is just them kicking. Oh, because they don't really have, well, like, like they do have melee weapons, but they're like the, the nails. Yeah. So, they don't have like beam sabers or anything, they just like punch and kick people. Yeah. Oh, the Gundam ground type's a 1500, I didn't know that. Wait a minute, I can just real, it says I can search friends' rooms, let's see what happens. Yeah, we can do that. The, but we had to like create the room, and then the thing is, people aren't searching there, so we can't get enough players. Oh, that's true. If we had a fourth person that had a beta code, then we could probably do matches that way. It's it's nice we have it, but no one's looking in the lobbies, essentially. So we had to keep using casual match for the scramble battle. Basically. Seems to be the most populated uh, thing at the time is casual. This is my favorite Gundam game on PS4, I can say that right now. <laughs> oh, honestly, yeah. What the last Gundam game was your favorite? Don't, don't talk to me about it. Well, Gundam Battle Operation 2 was technically the last one. I was going to say, GBO 2 is good. It's a bit different from this, though. It's a shooter, not a fighter, so... Yeah, it, it's a more slower-paced... Yeah, like... like I have no idea what mobile suit they put me with, and I can't transform out of it. When it selects random, it literally is... Oh, there we go. It's the Rigazi. Um... Yeah, you have to shoot off the, the back... The back thing. Yeah. So, essentially, when you hit random, it gives you a, a random for the training, and then it randomizes again for the actual match. Uh, so, it's kind of a trap. I don't... I don't like that. Thanks, Admiral Ackbar. I'll put this on. Come on, Chang, let's do this. Don't die. Don't die, Chan. She died. Just like in the movie. Actually, literally, because she got shot like a bunch of times by the Zexia. Yeah. Hey, at least she wasn't shot by Hathaway this time. Well, good thing Hathaway's not in this game to shoot anybody. But Hathaway is in this game! Oh. He is? Where? And don't forget, he's piloting the key. Oh, God. He's piloting the key, remember? I, I didn't, because I don't know anything about Hathaway's flash. Because he's the one who pilots the key, Gundam. I, well, now I've learned something. Knowing is half the battle. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, when Hathaway's about to die, questions Ghost comes to him and says, Yeah, I never really liked you, so yeah. 
he lived your life for nothing. You know, it's funny when they said that it was an adaptation impossible to adapt and then it's been delayed so much that I'm like, I think this is a sign. Delayed, but at least you know it's still decent along in production. Yeah. Okay, now it's time to see. Unlike Crossbone. Eh, Crossbone's never getting adapted. Like, just they should just make a really like badass game based on it, and then just call it a day. Oh, yeah. It's like here's your Crossbone video game. Shut up, nerds. Of course, it should get into Crossbone anime, so live with it. Cause it's a su it, see the thing is like it doesn't work as an anime because it's a super robot manga. Yeah. Which is true. Super fighting It's so much a super robot manga that they should get the the Zinger the Infinity artist to make infinitism designs for the crossbones. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Appreciate appreciate the fun times. Latest. how many players can be in a match. It's a ridiculous amount of wait time for how many people to join matches. Oh, for the, for the lobbies, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But the casual match has been going really steady. Okay. Choosing the GN armor was a mistake. This is weird. Yeah, it's just like, it's just, it's just like the Rig -Z. It starts in, like, a flight mode. Oh, it's not that. It's like... Basically, because of how the TN armor works, you're basically playing as a fake RX-78. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, it loads as an RX-78, but you're not playing as an RX-78. <laughs> I think my favorites in this game so far have been Perfect Gundam, Gun Easy, um... I'm trying to think of other ones. I had to go through the list again. I've just played as a ton of characters. I haven't even... I don't think I've gotten to half the roster, honestly. I haven't touched the G cell. It seems more fair, or it seems a little more fair online than it is in stupid AI. The AI is like training you for the Japanese players. It feels because it's like they're wave dashing and boost jumping, and I'm like, what the heck? How am I supposed to fight this? And I think it. Oh, oh, lag, lag. Oh no, not synchronizing connection twice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so dramatic. I want to. Uh, I lost this time because of my partner. That's like half the time you'll lose because of the partner. I'm gonna update my uh, favorite mobile suits here. That's definitely not what it was. Okay, Shining's up there. I want gold sumo. Yeah, Dark Hound stays. Kimaris is out. Putting in Age FX, because that was great. Is it best two out of three or something? Hmm? Is it best two out of three or something? In the player match lobbies? Well, the thing is that it says continue instead of being able to choose a different mobile suit in the match. Oh yeah, if you if you can if you continue it just stays with the same mobile suit, but if you hit like, if you hit no, then it'll go back to the character select. Oh, okay, so it's, not, it's a little different. Okay, I thought yeah. it was like... I thought it was like, everyone has to leave, or it just continues like two out of three kind of deal. Never mind. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna try out some crazier suits. I have not have the gun easy on my list. That's it. 
Favorites, favorite suits. There we go. I have no idea why the Marasai and Gobalthi are a tag team duo, but we're going to go with it. Yeah, it, sometimes the matches connect like the second you, you, you get your suit selected. It's just like you're in, which is great. So you're not paying attention, you might actually just load in without changing your... Yeah. I'm just so used to the menus, like, saying confirmation, go to the next screen, or choose the character select screen, and all that, not just go. Yeah, this one's incredibly fast, which part of it, I guess, is arcade routes, but... Also, all things considered, the netcode so far seems pretty decent on this game. Yeah, I'm freaking impressed, because this is Bamco. This is like, this literally runs smoother than Tekken. And I don't know if that's because they... Uh, I don't know how many beta codes they gave out. But this is running way smoother than Guilty Gear. This is running like the netcode on a AAA game should be. Like, or from a AAA publisher, I should say. I don't know how to switch to the other suit. Wow, that was an easy win. The only thing I'm seeing is I think people are quitting the game after they win a match and then it's not like registering everything. Cause like half the synchronizing connection issues come from the end of a match. I should check in on the chat, because I keep forgetting. Oh, no, we're good. Nobody's there. Nobody's said anything in a while. All right, I'm going to play as the Stargazer Gundam. Best of luck. If it's like Gundam Versus, it'll be weird and awkward. Thirty-two more minutes of streaming, and then I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> this is okay. The Bondock is weird. It starts slow, and then it all of a sudden simultaneously gets fast. This thing is weird. That's crazy ass mobile armors for you. That was a lot much larger building to fly around than I thought it would be. Oh my god, Stargazer literally just does hula hoops of death. Yeah. I dig it. Where's my super combos? It's not how this game works. I mean, what happened to my press? Press square like 15 times plus triangle, then all of a sudden you use new type bomb. Uh, this is not Battle Assault. <laughs> It's actually got like a lot of armor. Yeah, do they actually function differently? The different modes? Oh, I'm talking about like if you choose something like a bomb dog versus something like an RX 38, for some reason I'm able to take more hits more. Oh, yeah, no, they, they all function differently. Oh, okay. Like each character has its own stats, its own health, its own defense, its own 
Like, for being 185 mobile suits, there's there's very few clone characters. And the clone characters are literally like, oh, here's, you know, this piloted by this person. But even then, they, they play different. It's It's wild. Me playing as Seed Suits is just weird and unfamiliar. I need to watch Seed, just so I can understand this game. <laughs> I watch Seed, so I understand it. Destiny is where I'm going to be lost. Yeah, you'll also be lost for things like G-Reco and Victory. <laughs> it's weird. A lot of people have seen Seed because of the dub. And yet, I'm over here seeing, have seen literally everything but Seed. Oh god, I got Moonlight Butterflied. That was horrifying. I'm playing as some... I think I'm playing as that ashtray that just got a, a, a new Gunpla. The one with the flight type pack. I like this thing a lot, actually. I thought I was gonna... That's awesome. I need to try it out then. I'm gonna try that in my next match. Too bad the bomb that's used by one of the scummiest Gungeon characters ever. Right. Jared is a terrible character. He sucks. Yeah, he's kind of one of the worst. The second worst is Yard Sand. They bounce back. Well, actually, no, Yard Sand's worst because somehow, how did he survive the, as long as he Dude, I have no idea how Yarzan got to double Zeta. He's such a terrible character. I don't know how Yarzan was able to survive. <laughs> it's funny. They make him into a giant joke in double Zeta, though. Like, it was kind of funny. Asshole in Zeta. That. Oh my god, I got first place on that match. Yes. All okay. right. That I need to find out the the red frame, yeah the uh, the astray red frame is now one of my favorites. Uh, what's uh, weird is even though I kept losing in the I kept losing in the free battle, I kept going first place. I think it's because the AI on my team member sucks, while the freaking AI on the opponents is broken. Yeah, that's that's exact that's exactly what I was noticing. Is that with free battle, it literally. Like, literally was like that. Or it was like, the AI, the partner AI was, was awful, but the, um, but the enemy AI was, was super good. Um, where's that Astray? I'm gonna get Astray added to my favorites. Oh, I lost that time, but that was doing good. This is a very nice and organized menu, too. We're going to go to the, today's episode of uh, Kamen Rider after this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost done streaming for the day. I'm going to get to that four-hour mark and... Yeah. How much time is left for you? Uh... 35 minutes. Wait, 25 minutes. I'm trying to get to 240 minutes, and it's at 215. So... Yeah, oh, 25 there minutes. Is a grab attack. I didn't actually know you could do that. Okay. Depends on the mobile suit. Some of them don't have it. Where's the F91? I want to play as the F91. I wish the F90 was in this game. I've come to really love the F90 lately. <laughs> new mobile like new manga and stuff has made f90 like really cool for me so now i'm able to break cliffs in animal crossing oh nice the terraforming kind of stuff 
Yeah, my mom has been going nuts with that. And by nuts, I mean she made, like, waterfalls and, like, mountains. <laughs> Like, essentially, she's been, like, during the day, like, doing, like, selling stuff and items, but then at night, she's just, like, reshaping the island. <laughs> it is. There's so much going on, which also, like, is exactly why my brain is so engaged. Last match, since it took me a long time to actually get into this match this time. Yeah. Oh. Hey, rising Gundam must be extremely hard to use because I can easily defeat the Rising Gundam and it was hard for me to use. I think Rising Gundam is just hard to use. I think it's also like where in the game it's like, oh, here's your ranged attack button and here's your uh, melee attack. But with the Rising, you have to switch modes in order to do anything yeah. like you can't just you can't just switch into melee you have to like switch modes from the crossbow to the naginata yeah. i'm just gonna do one round of each suit until i finish streaming Alright, I don't want to play this as Zabi. I'll probably lose, but I'm going to play this as Zabi anyways. By the way, just imagine playing a build, uh, build series type game, and you actually use your favorite real trait. What do you mean they keep losing? So the joints keep breaking. Oh god. Like, I can't use the Sananju. <laughs> <laughs> I need to play, I'm going to play Sananju next. We're going to have some, like, yeah. giant red... This match is taking a little longer than, than normal to connect. Been able to try out all the Sazabi moves. There's a the match. Oh, yeah, I'll check it out. Like, I gotta let my phone cool down because it's kind of getting hot. It, it's been streaming for four hours. <laughs> so, it's understandable, but yeah. I'm gonna, like, give my phone a break before I even check anything. Give myself a break. I've been staring at a TV screen this whole time. Mm -hmm. Literally done nothing else today besides play this game. I did send you some stuff in the Dropbox though. Okay, I'll check that out too. Well, Alright, have fun. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Oh no, I got shot in the back. <laughs> Oh, that was my own teammate. <laughs> 20 more minutes, and then we're done streaming. If anyone's even watching, I don't even know. All right, 
Let's get some double Zeta action up in here. I like the double Zeta. I'm loving how fast this game is, not only in its general uh, speed of the actual gameplay, but also just how it connects and everything. It's really nice to see. Alright, Judo. Let's do this. Oh, that, that did not go well for me. switching we'll do an AMA time if anyone out there wants to ask a question anything about the game anything about YouTube Power Ranger stuff whatever you fancy I'm gonna try this bound dock dark on seem to really enjoy it That's a fun little burst attack. Ah, my enemy, the Zeta. Oh, 
Oh. That infinite justice has a crazy super. What the heck? I don't even know what to say anymore because I've been talking for so long. So I'm just going to quietly. I want to go through my favorites. Probably do a run of these. Let's see. I'm going to play as this uh, Astray Red Frame again because he seems cool. I liked him. We're fighting on Moon Moon. Which has a lot more context in Moon Gundam than it does in Double Zeta. What the heck was that? Is that a giant sword of some kind? Yes! I really like the stray red frame a lot more than I ever thought I would. Let's go, Jizaku Warrior. Not even that big of a seed fan, yet two of the seeds somehow made it into my list. Because they got cool stuff they can do. That's all that really matters in a game. What can they do? Apparently pull out a big old cannon. Ah, 
Oh, that recoil on that gun is a little nuts. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, jeez. The thing just came after me. Alright. And that's a win. All right, I'm going to go with the uh, good old gun easy here. That looks like I'm teaming up with a Reborn's Gundam against an Ashtray, Blue Frame, Second L, and a Victory. So, pretty even match overall, I'd say. Oh, shot through the heart. And they're to blame. Oh, lost because they got taken out. It happens. It's what, eh, tag team games are like that. Sometimes you can do the best you can, but then your tag team partner either, you know, just isn't, isn't in it, has the wrong suit. Uh, you all have too much cost for the health. Um, all that kind of stuff. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, looks like... We got Ryan in the chat and Nixter. I'm about to wrap up streaming for in five minutes. So I'm going to do one more match. And we're going with the boy uh, Perfect Gundam. I've been streaming nearly four hours. So um, there's all kinds of stuff that happened. I'll probably stream some more later on. Um, according to Metal, this is going on till tomorrow and not just today. Um, so that's pretty cool. Apparently it's... 10 p.m. on the 26th. I thought it was 10 p.m. on the 25th, but so that was my bad. But, um, 
yeah, so I think, like, I know for sure what I'm going to do after this is literally go uh, read some comics and not look at any screens whatsoever, because my eyes are about to rot out of their sockets. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to get some food, I'm going to chill out, read some comics. This will be the last match. So, yeah, we'll probably stream tomorrow. I'm probably not going to feel like streaming tonight. I might play some more tonight, but uh, this this game is so much fun. I'm having the grandest time. With Guilty Gear, I was having, like, a little bit, like, reservations with some of the new changes and such. And, you know, there was all kinds of connection issues, and the lobby didn't make any sense. But this game is just amazing. I'm blown away at how good it is. I'm so happy Bamco, like, gave us access to it early. Um, really, really stoked that I got in on the closed beta because I've been wanting to play this so bad. Um, this is a day one purchase for me. I'm going to pre-order it as soon as I can um, because I'm just enjoying myself so much that it's it's kind of insane how much I'm enjoying this. So I expected to like this. And I expected to love it this much. It's, it's been a blast. Like, this... I, I've never streamed a game for four hours straight like this. I took a minor break to get water at one point and to plug my phone in because it was dying, but... Other than that, I've, I've literally been playing this for four hours straight. Um, I'm still having fun. Uh, it's, it's probably becoming addictive now, and I probably should, uh... That's why I'm cutting myself off at four hours, but, um... I gotta win this match. Gotta do good by our stream kick the crap out of the phantom here. Got him. So, on that note, uh, if y'all out there haven't liked the video, I'd really appreciate that. That helps with the YouTube engagement so that uh, more awareness for the channel gets out there. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get all the notifications, including when I go live. Like I said, I'll probably do more streaming tomorrow. Um, and, yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, exit out of this crazy, crazy game, uh, this crazy stream. Thanks for all for joining me. Sorry we had to go... I mean, sorry to get to go potato cam, but honestly, it's been looking pretty good uh, through my phone, uh, all things considered. So that's all for now. Uh, see you all later. Have a great day.